Okay, and here we are, everybody. We're all set up. We're doing some more of Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 2. This has been a fun game to just kind of turn on this week. And let's go ahead and just get warmed up. I'll do a solo duel against this guy. During the last stream, I started working with the Wind-type deck, and I thought that was pretty fun. I want to keep going with it. First to go, second to go, it doesn't matter. This is just a warm-up. And then I'm probably going to get that premature burial. I promise you. Jesse's doing his best. Sometimes better than me. He helps. Ooh. All monsters, huh? Hmm. I guess for now we can just set Princess for a little bit of burn damage. We don't have the whole deck, the whole burn deck put together, I mean. Yeah. I was hoping he might put down cards first, but it's fine. Now I have a Wind Monster in my graveyard, and I can Special Summon. Hmm. Turn one card in the field to the top of the owner's deck. I could do that to bap the back row. Hmm. Let's do that. Put it down. Let's see if he's going to put down anything to stop me. Am I going to do all partners for this game? Probably. See, the reason it's going slow right now is because it's a new file and I'm building my card collection up. Once I start going with the rest of the partners, it'll be smooth sailing, basically. Okay. Now let's hope I pick the right face down to bop. Good. Got him. We're safe. He has absolutely nothing. More copies of Harpy... Queen would be good. I want to run this at three, especially for Icarus effect here. Um, we'll put down you for now. This is okay. Hopefully that back row doesn't do anything. It looks like it's safe, actually. Okay, now we'll end, and as soon as his draw phase starts, we'll activate Icarus effect, and we're gonna bop his two face downs. They're not battle traps, clearly, but hey, we might as well get rid of them. Formation Union. Oh, okay, it's just Union support he can't even use. Bro, this is he's making it too easy for me. Put down Harpy Queen. Give her a boop. Dark Blade. Dark Blade is usually supposed to be the beat stick you put out there. Oh, he has Dark Blade because it has, like, a union with, um, Pitch Dark Dragon, right? Do they ever do more retrains of those cards? I remember back in the day, like, you know, they'd have artwork that would depict, like, um, the union monsters together. I wonder if they just made them a, a straight up their own card. Hmm. They never brought back unions for really anything, did they? Just like Geminis, they're one of those old mechanics that's just kind of there. Oh no, the fusion is just the generic fusion deck to start. I've just been too lazy to empty it. We'll get some real fusions in there eventually, but for there I guess it's just, I don't know. I don't think having an extra deck in play really affects the AI's movements. Or, um, moves, I should say. Okay, nice, perfect. 459, not bad. Ouch, I lost, and I thought I was going to win there for a minute. Let's duel again. Okay. Winning any duel gives me a plus with Jesse. That's always good. Emperor's Team. The Countdown. Yeah, Cory and his wonderful game of fun. Now, we're about to run out of the chance to buy more win packs, so I should buy some last-minute ones before I leave, because the store is about to close. That's why I've been so stubborn about leaving here. We'll buy four more packs of this. And just on the way out, get my premature burial. And you know what? Give me another Harpy Queen, please. We can focus on getting more Harpy Queen next time. Darn. I thought that was the banned one for a second. There's Behemoth. I'm not gonna put Chimera... In the, um, in the deck, no. Desert Twister. The wind deck has been pretty fun. 
I mean, early attribute decks, they seem to kind of not be th that different from each other. So far, it seems like the Monarch is kind of like the deciding factor. I mean, the Wind deck has cool things like Icarus Effect, or Icarus Arrow, what was it called? Twin Swords of the Flashing Light, Trice. Summon card in your hand in the graveyard, equip this card, or to equip this card. Decrease the attack of a monster equipped with this card by 500 points. A monster equipped with this card can attack twice during the same battle phase. Okay. That's weird. You've been playing the Digimon card game? Sounds fun. I was hanging out with my buddy the other day. We didn't have time to really play any Yu-Gi-Oh! We just kind of hung around for a couple hours while, while, while I played Elden Ring. Um, he has an interest in trying out the Digimon card game as well. I think the art on it looks amazing. I haven't gotten any recently, though. I really should. Okay, so let's look around and let's get some more duels in. You've already seen me deal with enough people from the card shop, though. Looks like there's red students with the uh, teachers here. I've lost to you. We're going to have to do something about that. Yeah, I got some of the Crystal Beast structure deck. And, like, two copies of it. And chat kind of gave me some tips to uh, what cards to swap out there. I kind of want to try Crystal Beast now. They're going to be very different from how they work in this game, of course. Because Crystal Beasts were kind of crap, right? Excellent. Oh, no, I've not really played much of Elden Ring. I've been going into it because I've been playing a lot of Lies of P. And Elden Ring has been the type of game I can just put on when my friends are over and they can tell and they tell me stuff. Okay. Well, looks like all I drew was my special summonable monster. This will do it for now, though. Maybe I'll stream it, but streaming open world games is kind of hard for me. Because I take those games so slowly while I'm, like, listening to, like, videos or something. Sasuke Samurai is defeated. Bubble Crash. Designate the card you wish to send to the graveyard. Hold up, let me read it. This card can only be activated when any player has six or more cards on the field and or in their hand. The player then selects and sends cards to the graveyard until the amount remaining on their field and their hand is five. Well, whatever will I do? He's got nothing left now. And now I can special summon this monster. Thanks, bro. I plan on streaming Lies of P after I beat it. It's really good. I'm really shocked that people told me that it was like a short 10-hour game, though. Like, I'm 45 hours into my playthrough, and I'm like, what the hell were they talking about? This is why you should never trust the internet about new games. Ever. Because you can't tell who's actually played it. And who's, who's just, like, really mad about its existence and wants to just make crap up. Okay, turn end. I didn't want to use both uh, equip spells just in case he had, like, a Sakuretsu armor. But looks like we're safe. Okay. I may as well just shield crash ya. I love the way that shield is crashing in that art, though. A 10-hour game isn't even that short, either. If it's a good 10 hours, yeah. Hang on. Hmm. 3,500. I'm over blue eye stats. Hayden just threw away everything, didn't he? Okay. Well, it's fun to just jump into games on a whim. I remember, like, I was out with a buddy a couple weeks ago. We just kind of, like, were hanging, or just w going shopping. Because I needed a break. And I saw Lies of P was for sale. Like, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just grab this on PS5. And I grabbed it, and I've been having a great time with it. I'm about to do some overkill damage. Do this. Perfect. Go for it. Oof, that's some good damage right there. Good morning, you are alive indeed. Welcome to the stream. Why is there only one challenge on the bottom? Is there a way for me to put a different challenge there? Really confused. Total battle damage, I beat a new record here. Total direct damage. I lost, that hurts my record. Shoot, I'm getting hungry again. Yeah, we did it, let's keep it up. 
Heck yeah, you did. This guy looks angry. Let's ruin his day even further. Excellent. Well, yeah, if I turn on a 100-hour game, it better be a good 100 hours. Not, like, a 100-hour game with, like, 10 good hours sprinkled in, in here and there. Every game is different. Everyone wants everything to cater to them specifically, though. Everything's either good or bad. It's, ne it's never just not for me. Always remember that when you're taking other people's opinions. Okay. Well, once again, I open with you on turn one. Hmm. Here's what I'll do. If you're going to attack her, we'll do this. Next turn, I can put down Cobalt Eagle. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. While there is a face-down defense position monster on your side of the field, no player can select this card as an attack target. Each time a monster on your side of the field is flip summoned. <sighs> really? What a slow burn effect there. We're going to shadow spell it to stall him, so he's going to set his cards, and then I can flip up Princess for burn damage. I'll show you some flip effects. Lightning Vortex. I can beat over this guy with Cobalt Eagle. Oh, wait, no. Harpy Queen's Wing Beast. What am I doing? So we'll do this. Hmm. We'll flip summon you. One thousand points of damage right off the bat. Not bad. And now, beat over you. Okay, there goes that. And now Princess can hit for some free damage. And if things go awry, I can use Icarus Attack to just kind of tribute my monster and pop two cards on the field. This is why I need more copies of Harpy Queen. Her Harpy effect is literally useless, but she's a 1900 beat stick. That's Wind and Wing Beast. So she combos so well with this. With this. And we'd be much better in the deck than Sonic Duckard and Ken Dog. But I only had the one copy. So we'll try and get some more. Oh boy. There's Premature Burial. I'll get my own one of those eventually. Now, are you gonna beat over me? Hmm. I mean... May as well give up the small monster. It's not a big deal. This is fine. Blade Fly is here now. I could easily just Lightning Vortex this. Throw away you to the graveyard. Hmm. Yeah, we can do that. I don't need Winged Insect. Or what is what's called? Uh, Blade Fly, sorry. Get the Winged Beast stuff on the brain. We don't need to sum summon Ryza. Cobalt Eagle's weak, so I can use Icarus Attack if we really need to. Okay, let's attack. I'm not holding down Circle, so I'm not skipping that. Okay. These are going pretty smoothly. Hmm. Okay, good. Hold up, I can change the challenge. Uh, ba -ba -ba. If you go to the main screen, go down the dual menu. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's a thing called dual ranking. And you can change out the challenges there. Okay, so I have to go back to the main menu. I don't think I care that much, though. So it's not a big deal. Hmm. Here, let's just do this. This is a good option to go for the kill as well. Dang, this card is really good. I feel like just for this era, the fact that it's a trap card doesn't really... isn't really that big a deal, but I feel like in modern times, this card's too slow and too specific to use. Well, may as well just go hit him. Perfect. Completing challenges does get you a pack, apparently. Icarus would be great if it was searchable. Yeah, from what I understand, in a mo in a bunch of modern decks, um, there's a lot. There's the only trap cards most people use are the type that like have a monster effect that just straight up lets you set them, like from the deck or something. Oh man, you beat me, darn! You're strong. Let's duel again. Jesse's loving me. 
Fontaine has that annoying heal deck. At least she did in the last one. Lexus is hanging out with Gecko there. Hmm. We could try dueling a Lexus. Let's see what she's got. A Cloudian guy uses cloudy encounters, right? That sounds like too much for my bra my brain to like keep track of. I almost combined the word brain with track and said brack. Confused. Anyways, chat, we're doing a comfy Wednesday stream. We're gonna do some Yu-Gi-Oh! And then Dylan will be coming over later so I can see if we can finish Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. I am having a, such a fun time playing that with Dylan, but my goodness, it's really, I know it's a game that's really hard for an audience to watch because like, for whatever reason, the, um, the director decided to have the world's most shaky camera for that game. It's such a shame too, because if, if a mod could just remove that, it'd be so much, much better game. Hang on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a, I'm talking about a Resident Evil rail shooter on the Wii. And it, it's first person perspective from like the character's eyes and the character's like heads bob all over the place and it's it's terrible. Hold up. Let's see, Cyber Angel, Dakini. This card can only be ritual summoned with this. When this card is special summoned, your opponent selects and destroys one of their monsters during battle between the attack and- Okay, piercing damage. It's the Millennium Shield being crashed in the art. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? The Millennium Shield, that's not a Millennium item, but it's a Millennium card. Why isn't Millennium, um, an archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh? I feel like that's such a missed opportunity, isn't it? Anyways, um, I'm kind of eating crap for this right now. She turned one, summoned her freaking Cyber Angel. This is where she finally has her ritual monsters. Well then, uh, I guess I'm playing lame like this. Then Ken Dog wasn't doing much there. Yeah. No, I don't need to use that there. It pierced me for a little bit more, but losing faster is what we need right now. Look, look I can't even win. Just fit, girls, just finish me off. <laughs> Said it anyway. 100 more attack points, unless she decides to be stupid and like ritual summon something else for an effect. Nope. Dude, I just bricked on this one, didn't I? People told me last episode I had terrible luck with my outs. Like, I have enough outs in my deck, but I'm not drawing them. Oh, Lightning Vortex. And I could Shield Crash the back one. Hold up, hold up. We might have a chance. We might have a chance. I'm cheating with Destiny Draw, but hey, that's content, baby. Oh, never mind. I lose. Never mind. Come on, negate it. Hang on. Thank you for the resub there, friend. I lose my shield crash, but hey, we're still in the game. And she has one card in her hand. Oh. Okay. It's anyone's game now. Oh, it's my game now. Do I use these up first, or do I wait for her to make her move and use Heavy Storm? But if I leave my field un unprotected, she'll probably go for the Killing Blow if she draws the right card. She could have another Ritual set up in her hand, so I better do this first. And then on next turn, maybe I can Creature Swap if she Ritual Summons. Let's try this. Rhoda? Uh-oh. Soul of Purity and Light. Okay, wait. Okay, we're gonna activate Trap Hole and get rid of that. She's not going for the Ritual play, but we can stop you. Okay. No need to Creature Swap, then. That Destiny Draw really, like, worked in my favor, didn't it? Crap, now we have a problem. She's got three face downs. I can't afford to get rid of my shadow spell, though. Unless... If I heavy storm and then creature swap, then I have the stronger monster. Special summon this. Might be best to do that. She's Alexis. She's probably packing Mirror Force or Sakuretsu. 
I'd be giving up this, but this doesn't really matter. I'd have the current advantage. Naturally 2,000, naturally 1,900. Okay, I'm gonna do it, let's do it. What'd I get rid of? Ritual, Call the Haunted, and Divine Wrath. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna Creature Swap, or... Hold up. Or destroy Result of Battle. Okay, Result of Battle. Let's see, each player selects one monster they control. So I could just give you this, because it's weaker. Sent to the graveyard. Hold up a second. This is very important. This is very important. If I creature swap this to her, and it gets destroyed, and it goes to my graveyard, because I'm the card owner, does that mean I get the effect when it's destroyed in battle on her side of the field? I feel like this rule changes half the damn time, so she will discard. Okay, I just want to make sure. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of those games that you need to, like, triple check the rules sometimes. Because what I think might be a big brain play might be a very bad play. Okay. Now we're going to creature swap. Give her this. And now I've got her soul of purity of light. Decrease the attack of all monsters in your opponent's side of the field by 300 points during the battle phase. See, it even gets better. Hold up. Wait, what? Based upon the field, decrease attack of all monsters on your opponent's side of the field by 300 points during their battle phase. My mistake. I misread that. Now this gets destroyed. Goes to my graveyard. I don't even have cards in my hand. Bro, I got rid of Marshmallow when she's like this? Oh, that's huge. Bro, this is like some dual puzzle crap right here now. I feel smart. That's not just huge. I could... Dude, that could have cost me the game. I'll put me down to 400 right there. Huge plays right now. Giga brain play. Okay, no... She got nothing. United we stand? Ooh, I could go for the kill with this. I might use you as tribute fodder if I draw uh, the Icarus card, so I'm gonna buff you. Okay. I know I can't bump into Cyberjar anymore. Tag Force 1, everybody had Cyberjar, but in this game, it's banned. I got Morphing Jar, though, and she already used that. She got a Destiny Draw? No, she got nothing. She lose. She lose. I can't believe I won that. Wow, that, that felt impressive. That destiny draw, like, sorry, that cheating draw absolutely changed the whole game for me. <laughs> I was going to lose. Pretty much just accepted that. Ooh, look at that. Her duelist bonus is pretty huge. We cheating. This can't be. I lost? I know, I cheated. No way, I can't believe I lost. Yeah, we did it. Alright. Yeah, I really did turn that one around. That was a great way to start the episode, wasn't it? Hold up, I'm gonna make a save, and... Let me go back to the main menu. Are we sure that I can't set the challenges on this screen? It can only be in, um... Hold up. Yeah. It has to be from the main menu, let's find out. Look at Jesse with his arms crossed. He's like, yeah, I'm Jesse. I'm ready to duel. I'm ready to play a card game. I can? Well, it's too late. I'm already here. Sorry, where is it at? Deck menu, free duel, free mini games, database, options. Is it database? Duel ranking, I think someone said. Go to the Yu Gi Oh! website. All right, then. Maximum life points, high score, bonus challenge, deflected damage. Okay, so th that's really weird how you change these, huh? Damage during a duel, 50,000 points, jeez. 
Do a thousand points of direct damage. Destroy 20 of your opponent's monsters in battle. Bro, that's... You have to farm for that. Why would I do that? Win 10 coin, to coin tosses in a row. Isn't... What are the odds of that? One without tributing monsters. One without performing a special summon. One without performing a normal summon. One with a deck that only contained one copy of each card. So you can only do these when the, a specific challenge is set, not like un pop them all as you play the game. That is a very bad achievement system. There we go. One with a deck that had 80 cards in it. One with a deck that didn't contain speller traps. Any trap cards. Didn't contain any monster, including fusion deck. One with a deck that didn't contain any monsters, not including fusion deck. One with a deck that didn't contain any monsters except tune monsters. Any monsters except spirit monsters. Any monsters except with names that begin with elemental hero. Jeez, there's a lot of these. They go up to 99 or 100. One copy of each card. Tributing monsters. I could probably pull this one off for quickly. So let's just put this on one on for now. There we go. You want to save? I mean, I guess. What a weird way to set this. And last continue. 10 successful coin tosses is a 1 in 1,024 chance. Yeah, I don't think I want to farm for that. I don't need to get all the achievos here. Could you two, like, move? There you go. Hmm. Lexus worked out, but she'll probably destroy me if I try again. That's true. Second coin toss could let you cheese that a little bit. These two lads. Or ladies, sorry. Great axe. Ah, uh, have I tagged all you? Woody. What did Woody do before? Let's do a tag duel with this group here. Excellent. Is that one girl still standing at my dorm? Probably. I don't know how to get rid of her. <laughs> um, first to go, it's a tag duel, so it doesn't matter. Four. The second coin toss prevent breaking the streak? Um, good question. I don't know how the game is programmed. It could. Pegasus. Remember, Pegasus is not a winged beast. It's only a beast. Rising air current. Why do I still have this in my deck? I really shouldn't. Hmm. Could just go blade fly first. If he summons anything, this will pop it. All right. Am I confident this could break it? Yes, I am. Damn it. The prickle fairy just pricked me. Hit it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I've got a solution for that. Brain control. Uh-oh. Mataza the Zappa. Get rid of him. Whatever. Now it's time for Jesse. Go, Mage Power. Never mind. Chat, do you ever feel bad when you summon a monster and your opponent pops it with Bottomless Trap Hole? You ever, like, think about the monster falling into a bottomless trap hole and suffering for all eternity? Sometimes I would as a teenager, and it kind of freaked me out. I freaked out about a lot of things as a teenager, though. Hmm. Yes. Yes. So I'm not the only one. Everyone freaks out about stuff. Didn't you hear what I was talking about for people talking about games? I don't even check anything video game related on social media anymore. That place is a nightmare of people that want to hate everything. 
Mmm. I feel like I can still save the hammer shot. So I'm gonna go attack him. That's right. Oh, wait, no, he got buffed. Hmm. Uh, During your opponent's battle phase. Yep. Oops. 100 points over. I'm gonna lower my battle damage. I'm gonna eat that 50 like a chump. Fine, then. I for I totally forgot this thing did it. I thought it was um the fire one that, that got that effect. I had them mixed up. Oh, well. Let's pop them. Well, Jesse, it's up to you to fix my mistake now. Get to it. Uh-oh. Not the Warwolf. What, the Warwolf? I didn't realize Warwolf existed back then. 400, um, a f level four monster with 2K attack seemed pretty huge for the time. Whoa, he, he actually used it. Oh, he's going for blood. Yeah, get him, Jesse, get him. It was all part of my plan to get Jesse to use the card, I swear. Oh, we got nothing. The old man, no. I don't think I attributed anything, so I'm gonna hit that challenge. I, yeah, I think the drawback of Warwolf was supposed to be that it had 100 defense points, but who's playing it in defense mode, right? Nowadays, you use it for normal monster decks, I imagine. Oh, nice. And I got the clear. Duelist bonus. Does it say, like, challenge bonus? Four! Four DP? Excuse me? Excuse- What did I turn that on for, chat? Oh, new challenge bonus, 200. Oh, sorry, 204. Yeah, that was definitely worth the time it was to open the menu. <laughs> Guess I need to train more. We did it. Hang on. Can I do it here? No database. Oh, dual rank in here. Okay. Even says challenge on it. Okay, this is much quicker to do. Let's just scroll down randomly and pick one. Tra 10 trap cards, your opponents 10 times in a duel. Took control of your opponent's monsters 10 times. See, a lot of these feel like you have to build your deck around it, and it's like, why? 20 cards from their hand. Wait, it doesn't say in the duel. Does this mean, like, overall? Uh -huh. Won the match? Wait, what? Ended a duel in the... Bro, what? You're telling me I just have to activate this? I should turn it on against Mindy. <laughs> and intentionally go for a draw that's very unlike Konami. Won the duel without taking damage. Uh, caused 8,000 points or more damage and during a turn and won the duel. Okay, so FTK them. Made your opponent run out of cards. One within seven turns. Oh, I, I, I think we could easily do that. Put that for now. Mix it up a bit. Why don't we? Heroin battle. Lost message. There's Atticus. He'll probably kick my butt. I don't know if Atticus actually plays Red Eyes after the Night Shroud stuff. I lost to you before. You want a duel? Tag duel. Alrighty, here we go. Oh no, the Yu-Gi-Oh! VODs are still doing fantastic on YouTube right now. I'm very happy about that. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Oh. It feels nice being able to play a bunch of stuff and know that this is doing stupid well enough that I don't have to worry about other stuff un underperforming. Sorry, I'm just vomiting words right now, but I think most of you caught that. Oops, nothing on you. Come on, Moses, let's see. Ooh, Mirror Force, finally. I can never draw that. Hmm. We'll set the princess. 
Mm, let's MST pop one thing over there. Ray of Hope. Okay. I'll put Shadow Spell down for now. Is Nova even in this game? I don't know if I've seen him. I can't remember. Oopsie. Wrong button. Uh, Gel and Duo. This card cannot be destroyed as a result of battle in this card. Its controller takes any damage. Destroy this card. Tribute summon a light mon fairy type monster. You can treat this one monster as two tribute summons. Okay. This is a ve that's a very strange way to word this. That first effect. Okay. Well then, mirror force it is. Get beamed! Wait, what? Oh. He discarded from his hand to do that. Well, maybe one day Mirror Force will get to do anything. Mm. Nah. Let's leave it. We'll wait for the big boy to show up before we use Shadow Spell. So sorry, you got booped. Because she took damage from the, the effect damage, she, uh, Gel and Duo got immediately destroyed. There's no reason to shadow spell it. Okay, he's going for it. Option Hunter. I never made a life point gain deck in the last game because it's a very slow, but I kind of like the idea of that. I've talked about that archetype uh, Aromages. Like, their whole effects go off as you gain life points. I kind of like the idea of overhealing so much and watching a bunch of, bunch of effects pop. So maybe I'll see if I can get those on paper. Or at least not just collect them for the art or something. Hang on. 1,000. 1,000. Well, this is fine. Why is it... Oh, Jesse flipped Shadow Spell on it. My mistake. I didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, that hardly matters. Well, we can just go for the kill on him right now, can't we? Most Yu-Gi-Oh! archetypes now fall into just a couple categories for me. They're either anime girl, they're either cool super dragon, or they are dark king of dark destruction, the dark emperor the third. Like, <laughs> that's what they all look like to me. Um... No, what am I doing? I, for a second, I thought he had the Pegasus' effect. No, this is the one that uh, puts it on top of the deck again. It's been like that for a while, yeah. It's pretty accurate. I, I mean, if someone says, hey, remember that card, like, the Dark Emperor from Yu-Gi-Oh? I, I picture, like, 20 different monsters. And I'm like, I have no idea which one you're talking about. Well, let's hit him. More cute mascot animals, true. Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't really have any set rules for what an archetype can be, like, stylistically, and I kind of like that. If he's gonna Destiny Draw, I ain't gonna help her. Nope, no Destiny Draw. Shining Angel. Ooh, what am I gonna do about that? Pop. I just like the art on a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, though. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh would be one of those games that puts the illustrator's name on the card, though. Pokemon and Magic do that, but Yu-Gi-Oh just doesn't for some reason. I think it's because of some, like, archaic, like, rule that they just haven't changed. Hmm. Five oh four. Did I get the challenge? Not clear. That wasn't seven turns. It's kind of harder to do that in a tag duel, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it's some old rule Konami has. I think there was, like, one guy on social media who, like, one of the ways he told people he illustrated Yu-Gi-Oh cards was, like, when a new archetype came out, 
he just took a picture of all the cards together and he's like wow look at this look at these cards look at the art on those that sure looks nice doesn't it guys there we go friday hang on was she still standing there yes she is what about you two have i dueled you enzo enzo's the guy with the life point gain crap this could go on for a bit let's duel him though I want to duel some people we haven't challenged yet. Excellent. Come on. She won't get off the card. She's going to keep stepping on it. Three turtles. Unbelievable. That card is totally trashed by now. We don't know if it's sleeved. Maybe it's in one of those plastic sleeves. The sturdy ones for display. Okay. Oh, hey, my Kamakiri. The one I can't pull multiple copies of, ever. You put down Eternal? I'm just gonna go for blood. Because I know Enzo's gonna play his life point gain crap. Should be fine. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm super curious what the card is. Royal Decree. Oh. Well, that's re that's pretty rude. There you go. Come on, Jesse, you got it. I only have one copy of Pegasus, don't I? Well, actually, no, I don't have any copies of Pegasus, I don't think. I thought Pegasus would be great for the to combo with Icarus, but it's a beast, not a wing beast. Even though it has wings. Oh, you're you're right. I didn't I, I didn't show off the new emotes. How can I not do that? YouTube needs to see them. YouTube needs to see that we have an emote for Teddy Toll now. Hold up. Hang on. It's my turn. Look at that. We now have an emote for Teddy Ursa taking your toll. You want to pass by this bridge? You better hand over all that money and cookies to that bear. Or else. You can spam that in chat right now. Also on the Discord. Love it. We got multiple new emotes from Gomi this week. Hang on. I'm going to show more off. I'm going to show more off. We now have a lore bear. When we're reading lore, we have Teddy, we have Teddy with a little lantern. Perfect for comfy little games. <laughs> and, yep, hang on. No, you're going to keep seeing the bears whether you like it or not. The duel can wait. <laughs> we don't have enough emote slots for everything. Where's the other one I like? We got Detective Teddy. Look at that. Detective Bear is on the case. That's ones for puzzles. And just because we can, we now have Cup Chew with a cup of hot cocoa. He's very comfy. Our first cup chew emote. Look at that. Look how comfy and cozy he looks. All right. Put him, put him away for now. You can spam him in chat. But I'm learning you all that you can now spam those. Summon a duck. Once I make the toll deck again, chat is going to be spamming Teddy Toll up the wazoo. Hit him for some damage. The damage, we say. That's right, Cup Chew's Blanket is my logo. Well, darn. Apparently, I should have put Carbuncle in attack mode. <laughs> Oops. How does Cup Chew drink without getting his snot in the mug? Uh, very carefully. Very, he will do it very carefully, don't worry. End turn. We'll get him next time. This is fine. Go ahead, attack the turtle. I'll flip Mirror Force. Nope. We win, Jesse. Teddy's win. We could all use some hot cocoa in our day. Especially in these cold winter nights. That said not cleared, yeah. 
Come on, Jesse, why don't you love me? More hearts. Now. What about you lads? The medals. Limited fun. Limited fun? Six samurai, right of dual you, huh? You ready? Tag duel. Go, go, go. Maybe I should feed him? Give him a sandwich? I could. I could also could not, because it's my money. I worked hard to win dual challenges. Starting deck. Oh, look, he gets an MST, Swords, and Premature Burial. What do I get? I just pulled Birdman Joe for about 10,000th time. Okay. Old man, no. Reflect Bounder. I feel like I should get rid of Reflect Bounder. Mm, this is kind of useless because Amber Mammoth is on the field. So you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to Lightning Vortex one monster because it's Reflect Bounder. Let's go for the MST and then I'll United We Stand the Mammoth. Sakuretsu? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a sign that can go in. Oh, well, that doesn't pop my monster, at least. No! Oh, do you know what just happened? Do you know what just happened? I went to press down to go to Solemn Judgment, right? And then, like, it defaulted to the next to the next thing, and then it highlighted Amber Mammoth, so I mashed the X button on that instead. I'm so pissed off. The cursor reset got me. I hate when I... Mm, I hate when that happens. That was a genuine horrified no, I'm sorry. I kind of yelled into the mic there. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well then, you deal with it, Jesse. I wanted to just set a card and I put him in defense mode. He's setting. Okay, we're gonna shield crash that over there. That. Mask of Darkness. Well, whatever. Oh, I can't beat over that, that's right. Rare Metal Dragon just can't be normal summoner set. Only special summons. Well, it's your turn, Jesse. What's he got? What is that? Okay, he's going for a fusion thing. Well then, I can get rid of this with hammer shot at least. Let's do it. This is the turtle. He's got another reflect bounder. Wait, isn't this limited to one? Or wait, was this not on the limited list at all? Or I, maybe one copy in each of their decks and this is the other guys. Hmm. Oh, Call the Haunted brought it back. Dude, I didn't even realize it was highlighting that. You're right, Mubby. I thought he brought back the, um... For some reason, my brain thought it was the Rare Metal Dragon because it can only be special summoned. I didn't realize that wasn't there before. Okay, then. Monster before damage calculation is equal to attack attacking monster. This card is destroyed. I'm kind of just forced to eat garbage for that, aren't I? Yeah. Just eat crap. Get rid of it. Oh. No. Old man no says no to your mirror force. Get out of here. Old vindictive magician. Oh, cut it out already. Yeah, sure. We'll put it in the back for Jesse. Jesse can have a little bit of Crystal Beast in the back row as a treat. Oh, these are both trap hole.
Yeah, Reflect Bounder dies even if you attack into it with a monster with lower attack, right? Because I remember in- oh, Cylinder's here. Okay. thought that was banned. What was I saying? In the, in the last game, Tag Force 1, Reflect Bounder was very much limited to 1 because of how annoying it could be. Go, Simon. What you got? Wait, I get to Destiny Draw, but I'm winning. Sure. Well, I don't need that, but now I have it. Crystal Beast, Topaz Tiger hits Night Assailant. Really? The turtle? The turtle and not the tiger. Hang on. Oh, flip effect monster from graveyard to your hand. No, it's just target one monster. I'm surprised he targeted the turtle. That's so weird. Okay. Go on, play a card. Any card you want. Oh, he drew nothing. We win. Crystal Beacon. Ooh, Jesse, get him. Get him. It's turn 17, though. We didn't win. Look at that. You love to see it. I will do the dungeon again eventually, but it's, it's better to do a dedicated burn deck. It's just tedious if you try and use a normal deck in there. 735. Really good. Didn't do bad, but it wasn't enough. No, you did terribly. You're terrible. Get out of my face. Fourth-rate duelist with a fifth-rate deck. Get out of there. Yeah, just run three copies of every burn card for that. To the store. You know why we're going to the store, chat? Can you guess which card I'm about to pull right now? I bet none of you can. Would I like some cards? Yes, I would, Sadie. Oh, hey, new pack. Light monsters. Oh, no, I'm not falling for that again. Just one pack, because it's all I need. One premature burial to go. Damn it. Gosh golly, I couldn't get it. Well, how about a torrential tribute? Damn. New cards unlocked. Wind pack is not available. Well, let's see if I can get my other copies of Harpy Queen. Two copies of Harpy Queen and maybe a copy of Pegasus. Crystal Pegasus would be good for me. Is there any reason to run Venoms? See, I like the idea of Venoms, like, using counters to emulate poison to wear down the opponents. Like... I like poison effects in video games, especially in card games. Like, it, it, it's just cheesy, slow burn goodness. It's what my degenerate, like, playstyle loves. But, oh, nice, Pegasus. But I don't think they're very good, right? Like, they're terrible. And I don't mean trying to activate their auto-win condition. Amethyst Cat. The Snake Cards. No, I'm pretty sure this is where... Is this not where I got the Harpy Queen card? Got rare value. Hold up. Which pack did I get Harpy Queen from? I don't think it was Wind Pack. Or did I get it from Fairies? Oh, now I'm questioning everything. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get it from the Wind Pack. I'm almost positive I pulled it from here. Is there a Field Spell Pack? Uh, not yet. You know, I could try and fill this out to see if it unlocks anything else above, um, 50%. Excellent. Let's go. I don't know what I want from here, but we'll check. I got the Hex Sealed Fusion. Harpy Queen was a card I found on the ground, you think? Uh, maybe, but I'm not confident enough to say Big Koala. Fulfillment of the Contract. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Well, eventually when I make an elemental hero deck. Beast King of the Swamp. Uh, is it Beast King of the Swamp or just King of the Swamp? King of the Swamp, okay. Yeah, you can use this as a substitute and it's really good. Like, for example, you know how there's an elemental hero that requires you to um, use an already something that's already a fusion monster, right? Like, you could use this as as basically Flame Wingman if you want, and fuse him to make, like, uh, whatever big boy needs Flame Wingman as material, and just skip an entire fusion. And he's just also an emergency search for Polly as well. Like, do heroes still run this guy? Or are there other cards for that? Because heroes have a lot of support that I'm super unfamiliar with. You think I know anything about how modern Yu-Gi-Oh is? No new packs? Oh, it's at 47. Give me a couple more. Contract with the Abyss. Labyrinth Tank. Oh, Labyrinth Tank's an annoying monster in Falsebound Kingdom. Excellent. Hmm. Fusion Devour. When this card battles a fusion monster, the attack of the fusion monster becomes zero during the damage step only. What a random effect to put on a 1400 level 4. Yeah, I know. If a card says can only be summoned with the above materials, Beast King of the Swamp can't be that material, right? I got it to 61. Nothing unlocked. All these are at high percent. Hmm. Does getting more cards in this unlock anything? Let's find out. King of the Swamp got limited on Master Duel because of tier limits. I don't know what tier limits are. are. They're one of those anime girl ones that everyone got mad about because they're good, right? I mean, that describes, ev that describes like every piece of Yu-Gi-Oh news I hear every week. Banisher of the Radiance. I don't know what that is. Angel 07. Harpy Queen is in the Cyber Girl Rhapsody pack. So Alexis's pack? Damn. I'm not going to be able to pull a second one then, will I? Unless it maybe... I, I don't know. I guess I have to partner with Alexis, which is probably going to take a damn while. Did I get Moisture Creature? Bro, I did. Nova Summoner. It is in the Alexis pack. Hang on, where is it? Where is Moisture Creature? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I passed it. That's its art. If you tribute summon this monster by tributing three monsters, destroy all spell and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field. Dude... This this creature is so weird. Aside from the fact that it's called Moisture Creature, right? So I mentioned Falsebound Kingdom a lot. If you haven't play, seen that playthrough, um, the the weird strategy RPG with Yugi and Kaiba. Again, I will go I will go back for another Yugi playthrough. I promise. But in Kaiba's playthrough, right? I did this earlier this year. You can recruit this monster, but it has the most absurd recruiting condition in the entire game. It's so specific that if you're not following a guide, like, you can't get it, right? See, how it works is that there's like a, a small, tiny pixel window that's invisible, and it's wandering this map that you have a strict time limit on while enemies are chasing you down, and you just have to know to send a team out to this far corner of the map and stand in a specific spot because some guy online tracked down his his movements and he will eventually bump into you. And when you do that, this dude shows up, the moisture creature shows up and he's like, "Hey bro, how you doing? I'm from, I'm an alien and I'm trapped in this video game. Um can I like join your team?" And you have him and he's one of the worst monsters in the game and you never use him. But I did it. I did it in both playthroughs because oh my god, is the stupidest crap ever and it's like it's like playground rumor type crap. That's so dumb. Yeah, it, it really is like I'm underselling it Honestly, if you see me actually do it in the playthrough I get it's so dumb. It's terrible 
Uh, from what I understand, people told me that, like, the reason they did that is because in Japan, Moisture Creature wasn't a, a card yet, and he was going to be a secret rare in the next plan set. So he was, like, a reference to that, which, like, at the same time, though, who really cares? Stuff like that's a dumb treat. Oh, yeah. If you want to get all the monsters in that, it's... There's a lot of monsters that have absurd recruiting conditions. Um... Let me do this. Oh, I didn't get it. If I read what I just described in this strategy guide, you still wouldn't believe it. Yeah, it's really silly. He's just... He's technically on the map invisible, and he's very tiny. You just have to know where to stand on him. Like, that whole map is you're supposed to defend a fort against this oncoming onslaught of monsters. You have absolutely no reason to send anyone out anywhere. But if you just send one of your strongest units or whatever across the map and just know he's there, you might get him. So dumb, though. It was a super rare, actually. Okay, it wasn't a secret rare. Then why the hell did they bother with Moisture Creature? Midday Constellation. Well, I've gotten everything. I don't think getting cards in the element packs unlocks anything. I guess I'm just going to have to level up to get more monsters, huh? Let's buy a couple of these. Maybe get something silly. Catnip Kitty. Blade Rabbit. Well, that was underwhelming. Well, I don't see anything new. Convinced myself I can get more of Harpy Queen there. So it seems like I need to just be dueling people. It's time for class? No, I won't go. Yeah, let's skip. Moisture Creatures, it's a terrible name in English. Yeah, it's actually called that in Japanese. I wonder. Moisture Creature was so bad that they downgraded it to a regular rare when it came to the North American pack and common for the rest of the world. Seems like if I go to a location I haven't been to in a while, it makes Jesse happy. Should have bought him a sandwich there, but it's whatever. Oh, Hassleberry, huh? And Mindy. I don't need to worry about them. Go for a little strut. Moisture alien. Okay. So it looks like they kind of romanized... Or... What's the term? Moisture... If, yeah, for moisture. What's the term when they take, like, an, an English word or a foreign word and they kind of just say it in the Japanese way? I, I It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Uh, Romaji? Is that it? I don't know. What are they doing hanging out here? Revolution? Cyrus and Bastion? I haven't seen you guys, like, anywhere. Let's duel them. Duel, sure. Tag duel. Romaji is what you call right in English letters. Not exactly a term uh, for loan words specifically. Katakana. I don't know. I can't speak or read Japanese. All my animus are translated and subtitled for me. Katakana is the Japanese writing style where it's phonetically loaned from English. Alrighty. Most loan words are written in katakana, but I don't think there's a specific term for them. Okay. I find language so interesting, but I, I I can only speak one of them. Excellent. Perfect. Um, That's pretty high there. How did you get that out? There's a fire monster on your side of the field. Special summon this card from your hand. If you special summon this in the way, destroy a fire monster on your side of the field. During each of your standby phases, special summon one fireball token by tributing one fire monster on your side of the field other than this card. Creasy, attack this card by 500 points till the end phase of this turn. Okay. I should back to square one him. I could discard Bladefly, then I can special summon you, then summon you. Yeah, that'll work. 
Let's activate this. Back to square one, buddy. Hmm. Only downside, of course, is those two back row monsters, but hey. Let's hope I pick the right card to pop. I just top deck them. You know, I... Hmm. You know, I realized returning cards to the top of the opponent's deck is actually really good in tag duels because you could put like, like the partner's card on the on the other partner's uh, deck, and that just like becomes a bad draw for them. Pretty often, I want to say. Okay, Jesse, you're up. I'm not going to be able to win on by turn seven in a tag duel. I feel. Ambulance Roid. Hmm, I did pretty good. Jesse's just got all his bricks there. Did they even do anything? No, right? Oh, about to slaughter him. Never mind. For you. You can edit your opponent's deck at four hearts. Oh, really? So you just have to eat crap for a while before you can change it. Now, are you limited with how many cards you can swap out? I wonder. Or can I just make Jesse play Elemental Heroes if I want? Almost had him on turn eight. Excellent. Oh, he's Destiny Drawing. By the way, how's the audio? I wonder if it's been a little too quiet this whole time. Dude, he... <laughs> more spells. There's only a few cards that you can't change. Oh, okay, I'm guessing I can't take out Ruby Carbuncle or something. Because it's his family. Challenge bonus. I still haven't cleared it. So I have a challenge bonus just for having a challenge there? Is that it? Oh, whatever. I lost. You're good. Damn right I'm good. Revolution 1. Royal Purple. I don't remember what this is. I'm gonna duel solo. See if I can get that challenge and then swap it to a different one. Oh yeah, everything's muted and all that. Don't worry. At four hearts, you've already maxed out the character. Oh, okay. So you're telling me I'm halfway done to moving on with Jesse? Does the game not advance until I get to four hearts? I'm not sure about that. Okay. So I'm basically just mashing duels until the game moves on. Same like part one in Tag Force 1. Okay, then. Flying Kamakiri shall go. No, the max is eight. Four is the max and three. Oh, I need to get it to eight hearts? Ooh. I mean, yeah, I know I can also just spam sandwiches. Are you not limited to one sandwich per day, like Tag Force 1, actually? I should make sure I always get my daily for that, then. God, I'm making it sound like a gotcha game. I boot up my mobile phone, I log on, get my daily boyfriend tokens, and get my daily boyfriend sandwich, and you get to pull for cards. Golly, that's Yu-Gi-Oh now. What has the world come to? Why can't everything be perfect and amazing like it was for me when I was eight years old? Cylinder! That is classic Xanny right there. Oh boy. In Tag Force, to uh, uh, Tag Force 4, uh, you can do tag team with random NPCs, and even they have unique artwork at the end of their campaign. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Well, that's it for that. Speedrunners just reset until Golden Sandwich because it insta-fills one heart. Oh, man, they made the sandwich busted, didn't they? 
I didn't realize it gives an entire full heart. Oh, there goes that. But I can special summon you. Hmm. No, time just advances when you move to a different area. Give it to Ken Dog. Skull Zoma. Great. Um. No, it's only 500. Save the acid trap hole in case he tries to do a comeback next time. What do they put in the gold sandwich to have someone like you this much? I don't know, a love potion? That's what it's starting to feel like. How good is that gold sandwich? I like me an egg sandwich, don't get me wrong, but if it's gonna get if it's gonna like fill me with that much affection for someone, it better be damn good. Is it the egg? It has to be because the gold egg, but I don't know, I feel like you gotta put some spice in there too. Oh, give me a break. Get out of here. I'm going for game. I'm getting him the, the turn seven achievement now. I don't think gold tastes very good. Oh, he just killed the achievement. He killed it. Damn you, Zanny. Come on, bro. Come on, get your life points back. See if I care. I'm beating over you with that. Well. Have to wait now. Yeah, yeah, get your stuff. Hmm. Now let's pop it back to his hand and get him. Really now? How many of those do you have? The answer is too many. Let's flip this. Maybe with some more damage. You could have torrential tributes. How much does this got? 1800. You know what? This should be fine. Do this. Mirror Force would suck, but I'll live. That's right. Don't flip up nothing, Moyo. Big number right there. Just booped him with that axe. Not cleared. Thanks, Zanny. Well, shoot skis. I just know I can do better than that. I sure fancy dueling you again. You come back anytime. Okay. And before we go to the duel store again, let's try dueling you. See if I can pop that Chivo right here. Zanny just sitting there stalling me with the monster trap cards. What a bully. I don't think I've even seen the gold sandwich on the roulette wheel yet. Does, I think that only happens if you go, like, first thing in the morning, maybe? I don't think there was really a rule to it in Tag Force 1. Dark Room of Nightmare. Oh, golly, what will I do? Royal Oppression, pay 800 life points, negate the special summon of a monster and the effect that special summon the monster and destroy both you and your opponent can use this effect. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Get that. What'd I get rid of? United Resistance, okay. 
Hmm. I could hit him for burn damage right quick here. Doesn't apply to me too. Or I could just throw down the eagle first and attack him. Only stops a special summon there. I don't need Princess yet. He's gonna have a lot of back row for me, so this is fine. Let's poke him. If you get clawed by an eagle, it'd probably hurt. Those things, those talons will rip you to shreds. Okay, end turn. Elephant Statue of Disaster. This card is sent directly from your hand to the graveyard by the effect of a card controlled by your opponent. Inflect 200 points of damage to them. Okay, 1500 on that, no problem. I could make him lose life points to do that. Mm, or I could just use her as discard fodder for back to square one. Hmm. Hmm. If only this thing wasn't on the field. Whatever. Discard you, designate a monster. Pop you. I slowed him down for a little bit. Of course, she's just gonna put it on the field again and hit me, but this is fine. It's all up to the next draw, and I have faith in it, because I just hit him for meager bird damage. Heavy storm! Okay. Sure, let's do it. Up, 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 up. What was the other card? Tragedy. Well, and now we wait. Oh, I'm getting hit for 3k now. Dang, I should have hung on to that back to square one. And Sylphie there, after all. I didn't think I'd get Heavy Storm. <laughs> oh, man. Hang on, hang on. I can, I can just put her in attack mode and creature swap and bump them into each other. Then he he probably won't have any monsters left to fight with after that. Royal Oppression is banned? Okay. I imagine now, with how special summon focused uh, Yu-Gi-Oh really is. Okay, we are gonna crash these two into each other. And I'm gonna pray he doesn't have anything else now. United Resistance. Oh, he's hitting me with the teeny boppers now. Come on. Turn four of hoping I'll draw the out. Oh, Twin-Headed Behemoth. And it can actually beat over the two of them. It's about time. Jesse still gets affection, yeah. Get out of here, random people. Nightmare Steel Cage. Well, he went ahead and stalled for me. Hmm... Gonna slow down his draw. Now hold up a second. Turn one card in the field to top of If I I could just like do this to pop his monster and get this back on my deck. And hit set him up for more burn damage in a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. Oopsie. The cage will go away on its own. I'm gonna pop the other card. Ultimate Offering. Okay, then. Set Princess. Let him build that up again. And this cage is still active. We can't attack. It's Teddy Duel time. That's right. We're not getting that achievement, no. People running about my life. 
people running around because they don't know what to do. Backup soldier. Ooh, back to his hand. But I got an dog. Okay. I'm just gonna hit him for game now. Flip summon you. Sorry, Katum. Is that how you say it? Katum? Katum? I'm not sure. All that matters is he's a loser. He built a huge revolution deck. Yeah. Does that ever work? Kadim? Okay. That's how you say it. Does it, what does the huge revolution deck really do? Is it just like a gimmick of this time? Don't think it doesn't sound like the type of thing that's really been expanded upon. Not that I've heard with modern cards doing it anyway. You got me, you win this time. I love dueling, let's do it again sometime. All right, Jesse, let's go get some food. To the store. Just a gimmick card that wipes everything. Want a sandwich? Yes. Oops. Yeah, sure. Oh, I love this stuff. It's so good, don't you think? Yeah, he likes tofu. I hit the button immediately before the roulette. <laughs> I registered it. Stop starting. Top grade salad. Sure. Hmm, this isn't bad at all. I didn't hear the jingle. Is he still actually getting heart points by doing that? Or am I wasting my dual points doing it? No, no, no. Sadie is right there. Let me talk to her. Don't see anything new here, except premature burial, of course. At max? Um, two isn't the max hearts. That's not what people were saying earlier. Looks like I didn't get it. What are cards? I want a Torrential Tribute. Let's open up some of these. Mask of Weakness. Acid Trap Hole. Acid Trap Hole again! I'm not getting anything. Needle ceiling. What did I do again? Activate this card when there are four or more monsters on the field. Destroy all face-up monsters on the field. Okay. Okay. When I get to two hearts, I have to wait for an event to happen to advance it even further. Okay. I think I get what you're saying. Speak of the devil. Let's see what this is. Valium, would you just calm down for crying out loud? Does that mean the other events with Dark Magician Girl only happened because I reached one heart? You being mad at me is absolutely absurd. Vice Chancellor Bonaparte, would you stop chasing cats around? I absolutely hate cats. I hate, hate, hate them. Say, isn't that Velian and Vice Chancellor Bonaparte? What are you two goons up to? Yeah, come to think of it, it's pretty rare to see teachers here. Oh my, good timing, my boys. You wonderful bright students can help or You wonderful bright students can help carry these. Did they mean students? With an S? What? What gives, Velian? Why do we have to carry these for you? To start with, teachers shouldn't have to carry all these dual discs. It's not like this is a punishment for upsetting Chancellor Shepard or anything. Ah, you said it. No way, I'm not taking any punishment. Yeah, we didn't do anything wrong. Oh dear, why don't we settle this with a duel? Because I'm sick of carrying these. Yes, excellent idea, Monsieur. 
Mojo, I think I've loved it. It's our jobs to lead and teach these miserable slackers. How unfair. And why are you upset? That's it. I'm mad. Let's duel so I can shut you up. Hehe, <laughs> sorry, Monsieur, but we'll be dueling Cyrus Truesdale. What? Why me? You're picking on me because you think I'm the weakest. Elian, nice choice, I must say. I choose Asprey as my opponent. And this will not be a tag duel, so no crying for help. Heh, <laughs> these teachers just picked a duel with the wrong duelists. I'm sure you two will have no problem beating these guys. Good luck. Jaden. Come on, let's get this over with. No, don't you know? Teachers in all media are just asses. That's how it works. They hate their job. They hate students, but for some reason they want to be a teacher. Just like real life. Or they turn out to be like a messed up alchemist devil worshipper. That also happens. Well, a lot more common in Japan, though, from what I understand. Okay, Crowler, you want a duel? I'll give you a duel. Set this. Mm, my only monster, but I could put it in attack mode as a deterrent. He could set a monster in response, and I could just shield crash it. If he plays a bunch of face downs, I can heavy storm next turn, but I got one dust tornado if he goes minimal on it. Oh, nice. Only one face down. We'll go for it then. He's going to be wide open. I can hit him with the United We Stand. It was widespread ruin, too. Perfect. Okay. Heavy Storm's going to be back up for later, then. Prowler can set some things up in his back row, can he? Let's do it. hit him. I really should be saving before I go into these, but I can't save on the map anymore. Nin Ken Dog gets it again. Ooh, Axe of Despair. I could go all in. No, what if he's got Sakuretsu armor? Then I need a backup plan. I wouldn't finish him this turn anyway, so I'll, I'll just go right now with this. Okay, good. Here we go. Will I finish him next turn? Let's find out. Summon the monster at area. What? Bro, did he just brick? <laughs> what? Huh? I'm about to beat him on turn seven, too. Prowler, my dude. My dude. You need to retake some classes about how to build a deck. You are you just bricked so hard. And you're a teacher, too. You have access to all the good cars. You don't have an excuse of being poor. That was pathetic. And I cleared the duel. Or cleared the challenge. The duel bonus. New challenge bonus uh, for 200. Duelist bonus there. Duel vic... <laughs> Shortest duel. It was so, it was so easy. I set I set a new record for that. That's amazing. This is impossible. How can I, the practical exam administrator and most important teacher in this school, lose? Sacre bleu! We made a major pourquoi. Pourquoi? What does pourquoi me again? How do you like that? I'm not so weak after all, huh? You. That was close. Eh, sorry, but I warned you guys that these two students are strong. Sweet duel, Cyrus and Asprey. Why do I have the feeling Chancellor Shepard is going to be upset? Anyway, let's grab the discs and hightail it out of here. It means for what and why. Why, you? Why th don't think you slackers have gotten rid of us yet? Just you wait. Velian, let's go. Those two are like a pair of comedians. Well, I did it. Does that mean Jesse can, um, get more hearts with me? Yes, we'll have to see. Let's go to the Slifer Red Dorm at night. 
I may be worn down, but I love this type of dorm. Well, he had the little jingle. What can I actually go into the next heart? Ma'am, are you still standing on my card? Why? If you're a beginner, I'll gladly answer your questions. Get off the card. She won't get off the card, chat, no matter what I do. Why is... The rest of the doors are locked. Why don't they want me in? Unbelievable. Wow, everybody's just hanging out here. This dude on a date back here. Machine King. Sela. And fought her. Summer Melody. Always Vanilla. I can make a joke, but I'll restrain myself. Queen Perfume is this partner. Okay, restraint, self-restraint. Do this. All right, here we go. Tag duel. Lose, win. I'm going first. We're going first, Mr. Jesse. Oh, I should have changed my t achievement. Crystal Beast, Topaz, Tiger. Let's go! I need to know what card she's standing on. It's gonna keep me up at night. Pop that guy a power there. Oh, never mind. He has another one. And guess what? It boosts the Tiger. I'm real glad you committed to that play there, buddy. Hmm. It's not gonna lower wind monsters. Hmm, Tiger's already strong enough, so I'll put down Behemoth in case I can bring it back as Tribute Fodder later. Ariza, mainly. Defense points should be weakened. Yep. What does that say? Kuwagata A. Look at that art. Is he wearing that armor, or is he holding it up, to it, up in front of him? A very vicious stag beetle that goes for the head. This is some old Yu-Gi-Oh art right here. I'm like, look at that. Old Yu-Gi-Oh cards are just like, um, hey, this is like Monster Dude. He is like very mean and he like hits you and is deadly and stuff. <laughs> 12, 1250 attack. <laughs> Old Yu-Gi-Oh decks were very silly from what I understand. There was no reason to play specific type monsters or attribute in like the early, early days. It was just like play Summon Skull and like try and kill the opponent faster. It was literally just like Summon Skull beat down every time, right? Um, I got these. That'll be a backup plan. All decks were beat down decks. Yeah, because like what other strategy was there in old Yu Gi Oh? Ooh, I'm gonna pop ya. Summon Skull was great because it had 2,500 for one sacrifice and literally no other monster compared to that. Could you really pull off Exodia that well early on, though? Alrighty. And when they did have, like, a big strategy, it would have to get, like, nerfed to hell and banned, right? Wasn't, like... Hang on. The reason for the ban list was because of, um, Yadagarasu and Chaos Emperor Dragon, right? I'm pretty sure those two were the reason that card... They were, like, the first cards that had to be, like, gotten rid of. Yes? Okay. So, Magical Scientist and Catapult Turtle was after them, then. Because that one was pretty, pretty wacky. Just have Magical Scientists just, like, mill your whole whole extra deck onto the field and pop them for game. All right. On the, in the Japanese format, you could get Exodia really easily before they eroded Sangen and the Witch. What was, what was the errata for those two cards again? I don't remember. I know they were pretty good for um, helping you search Exodia, though. By the time they reached the West, they already had their new effect. Oh, really? 
So what was the pre-errata Japanese Sangen in Witch of the Black Forest? I'm curious now. Magical Scientist wasn't very consistent. Okay. Anyways, stalling now. Let's just go ahead and attack. Acid Crawler. They weren't once per turn and activated from everywhere. Wait, wait, wait. So Sangen didn't have to be destroyed on the field. You could just like discard it from your hand and it would activate the search effect. That's disgusting. They went to the graveyard by any means. Interesting. There we go. Okay, let's attack. Oh, Sakuretsu armor. Hold up. Hmm. I could pop this back to my hand, but Jesse can just use it in the back row anyway, so it's not a big deal. Graceful Charity would just become a draw three and then add two Exodia pieces. Oh my god, you're right. That is that is so funny. You draw three cards with Graceful Charity and then just discard your Sangen and Witch, and then you just win. That that sounds so disgusting. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways, getting a bit distracted, but that's okay. We did our game. Commander is going for the game. Mm. Do I pop him back to the hand? I'm sure Jesse could probably beat over him anyway. It's only Cobalt Eagle. Now, if I let this go to the graveyard, I could, like, special summon Sylphid with it, actually. So, I'll actually say no. I'll put it in the graveyard as special summon fodder. See, I like see what I like about card games is I like seeing all the different effects, like learning how the game works and learning how they can just kind of pop together. I find stuff like that satisfying, but it's also fun to learn how like people overlook stuff in the design and it just causes a bunch of problems. I mean, you've seen some of my Pokemon videos. Of course, I love that stuff. Damn it. Another Sakuretsu. Sakuretsu is not limited, though, I don't think. Ah, Draining Shield. That'd be a fun one for Aro Mages. I wonder if I could use Aro Mages in the, any of the 5Ds games, or if they're way newer than that. I have no idea. Hmm. That's also, like, why I like burn decks and, the, like, the toll, the chain energy. Just watching all those little tiny, like, life point drains just ruin their day. Anyways, it's my turn. Jesse managed to get rid of the beetle. Look, good thing I left that, uh, evacuation device down. Hold up. One wind monster from your graveyard. Is it not there anymore? Oh, he removed it with his spell card. Damn it, Jesse. Well then. That's the case. I can put down Ninken Dog. Sakuretsu's already been used twice, so it's kind of unlikely we'll bump into it again. Hang on, what was that monster? Acid Crawler. Oh, this is like the player two color for Petite Moth, right? This is one of those cards that never got localized because they didn't localize every single monster. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is fine. I'm gonna go all in with United We Stand. Hang on. First, we're gonna flip this. I forgot to change the challenge again. Okay, who has the highest attack? 1800 on you and then Ken Dog. Let's pop him for game. Woo, that's a lot of damage. Let's hit him with a little bit at a time, though. We're gonna do as much damage as possible. Birthright. Damn it. Okay, fine. That's fine. We can beat over you with something else. 50 points. Stop it. Ruby Carbuncle? No. Mmm, it's gone now. Sure, give Je give it to Jesse. He needs four on the field. Well, I got my 50 damage. I hope I'm happy with myself. Hang on, can I special summon you now? I can put you on the field for Jesse. Excellent. Banish the princess. Sorry, m'lady. You've been destroyed. 
Excellent. Excellent. Um... Well, I guess that's that. At least he used up his cards. It's gonna be weaker like this, so let's just put it in defense mode. I like Twin-Headed Behemoth's effect because it emulates the idea that only one of the heads got killed. But its effect was so poorly worded, it had to be banned. Ooh, he gave up his only trap card. Time Machine. Jesse, you got this. You can do this, bro. Nice. You got may eggs and toast. Sounds delicious. Let's go, go, go. What was an, you know it was an archetype that looks cool on the surface, but uh, I don't know if it really counts as an archetype, actually. You know what I like? Those, um, that one season of Yu-Gi-Oh! where they had the dragon cards and they would fuse them with random things. As I, I really like the look of that one card where it's just Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, and she just has, like, this full set of armor that looks awesome. That card is terrible as hell, right? But it's one of those things where it's like, dang, this looks awesome and nostalgic to me, so I just want to make a deck around it and have fun playing it, because why the hell not? I have Tamias. Well, there's three different dragons, right? I don't know if they really synergize with each other, though. They're cool, but they're apparently terrible as hell, aren't they? Colin, dead end. Oh, that's Nova. I did duel him. Okay, let's do a tag duel with here. Am I going to be able to get to a second or third heart? It was a whole deck for a time. You remember that clip of um, Kaiba in the anime when he first gets Critias? Like, he fuses, like, uh, what is it? He fuses his dragon with either the Crush Card Virus or Mirror Force. And, like, Alistair just, ju is just like, you can't fuse a monster with a trap card. And he's like, I just did. And then he wins because he's freaking Seto Kaiba. It's just so silly, you can't help but love it. Hey! He's got the Charmers. Speaking of anime girls. Okay, I got a whole loaded hand right here, don't I? Hmm. Let, let me MST one of those things back there. Yeah, that, that was the only time they tried it, huh? The only time they, um, used monsters with trap cards and stuff like that. They should bring back some unique ideas like that. I see more of that in modern archetypes, but I'm very limited with, with looking at that stuff, as many of you know. Um, I could throw down the eagle. Creature swap, attack into it, send it to the graveyard, then special summon Sylphid on main phase two. Plus, that means I also steal the anime girl. And at the end of the day, that's what you want to do to Yu-Gi-Oh players, because it makes them suffer. You're winning the mental game before the physical game. Creature swap. Let's do it. Select you. She has a good beat stick like this. I could keep her around and give her United We Stand. If that's Sakuretsu, I'm going to regret everything, but why not? late for you. We'll have a good night, friends. Boop. Ooh, big number. Okay. Battle phase. No face down, no face down. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I forgot he activated Waboku. <laughs> I totally forgot he activated that in response to me destroying it. It didn't register to me that its effect was still active on the field. I was just like, where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be a kaboom! Dimensional fissure. Any monster sent the graveyard is removed from play instead. Any word on those charmer figurines they've released in yet? Still haven't heard a thing. Were they only making them for the original four, or are the light and dark ones also getting... also getting figures? Excellent. Pop, pop. Well, now it's my turn. 
I love how Jesse just put down his United We Stand, and now this waifu is just about to, like, annihilate the universe with a wave of her wands. 50-50. Look at her go. Contribute the mammoth here and get Ryza on board. Hmm. But first, let's shield crash his face down monster. What I get rid of? Teat Dragon. Oh, that's the Winds monster. Okay. We'll go ahead and do this. Some Sacrifice the Mammoth. It would probably be best if I get rid of one of the face downs. Are you serious? Wait. It didn't go to the top of his deck? Okay, that's fine. It's better it goes to the graveyard. All four Charmer figures are actually out now, and they're very pricey. Oh, are they being scalped? That would not shock me. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Don't mess with the anime figurine market. That stuff's more cutthroat than Wall Street. Well, I don't want to use this. I can't do anything now. Waboku activated. Nova's got all his cards. Exchange of Spirit ain't happening with him anymore. Bro, did you did you seriously just do that again? Three of those in a row. Morphing Jar- Uh-oh. Man! Well, I guess we'll just sit here and watch what happens now. Oh, Needleworm. Is he going flip effects? Nova's all flip effects now, it seems. $150 each. Okay, that's not as bad as I was thinking. Oh, there's Blazing Hita. One of these days, I gotta get one of those, like, glass cases for figurines and stuff. The ones that, like, keep dust from getting inside and all that. I've seen some people have some of those for, like, uh, collecting, like, Transformers and stuff. But, man, that might be a bit of an investment. Hmm. See, whenever you guys mention how much anything costs, I'm mentally adding more to it, because I assume you're talking about U.S. dollars. So that, that's going to be a lot more for me in Canadian dollars. This is Tiger, Turtle, and Pegasus. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Take out one of my eagles. We'll mill the deck a little bit by doing that. I had to pay a little bit extra to finally get my Jill from Valhalla and Enderoid. Because I couldn't get that when it was new. Hmm. We'll throw this down. Well, that's the downside of buying Pokemon cards there, friend. When you open packs, you're not always gonna get what you want. You have to accept that. Ugh. Am I gonna get the Dorothy one? I'd like to if I could. I'm still shocked we're getting a second Valhalla character as an Enderoid. I am gonna try and do another playthrough of that this year, too. I'm, I'm due it for another Valhalla reading as well. It'd be extra comfy. Could we get Dana as well? That would be nice. I would like a Stella one, but realistically, I'm shocked. I'd be shocked if we got more than Dorothy. Oh. Really doing the skin, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't finish last year's playthrough because I was demotivated and going through a little bit too much. But I want to go for it, go for it again this year. December's the perfect time, because that game literally takes place in December. Um, okay, what do we got? Arbuncle, Turtle. We'll set you. They are stalling the hell out of this game. Look at our life points. That's 
That's right. If I bump into another freaking morphing jar, I'm gonna be upset. Here we go. Oh, good. More flip effects. Jesse. Oh, you know, actually, that's good for you. I'll take it. Uh, maybe not, actually. Come on, Jesse. Hit that man. Boop him with your turtles and your carbuncle. Chat, what's a carbuncle? I don't remember. I'm still not sure. It just looks like bootleg Espeon to me. You just been turtled. Well, well, well. I guess we attack and win now. Just hit him. Let's get this over with, Colin. Espeon is also based on a carbuncle. Carbuncle's supposed to be like a fairy, I think. A <laughs> silly thing? That would make it Sylveon. You joke, but I'll, you'll see something like that somewhere. Do that. Do as much damage as possible, why not? 300? I don't think so. I'm gonna hit him for even more now. You lose, big boy. Now what do I get? I didn't change the challenge. God, I keep remembering and then not remembering when I actually have the opportunity to. 360? Oh, number of times... This is how long this damn duel dragged on for. Number of flip summons. Holy moly. Curses. I'll be ready for you next time. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Let's go to database. Duel ranking. Go down. Activate 10 trap cards. Counter your opponent's thing. Used... Quick play spell cards, your opponent's turn. Use 20 spell cards. Now in a tag duel, does this like count my partner? It should, right? Is this this unrealistic? 20's a lot. Like that's a full field if like four times. Ten times chain. Spell counters. Restore this much life points. Won the match. Ended in a draw. One seven turns. We did that. Why is that level four? Like, what does that mean? Only at the challenge, or is it like the difficulty of it? One during your opponent's turn. One with the effect of Exodia, the Forbidden One. One with Destiny Board. One with Final Countdown. Oh, okay. Win with a uh, Victory Dragon. That's what that means. Wait, what? Wait, they made that an achievement? Are you serious? Wow. One with the Yadagarasu lock. They just straight up put that in. That's really funny. I thought they hated this so much. That, like, um, if I'm not mistaken, aren't AI in a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh games actually programmed specifically to surrender if this happens? Yadagarasu is the name of the monster that causes the lock. How it works is that, like, Yadagarasu, if it hits you, you can't draw the next turn. So what you do is you use a Chaos Emperor Dragon to wipe the field. Yadagarasu pokes them. They can't draw, and then they can't do anything. They just wait several turns over and over while the Yadagarasu pokes them for, like, 200 damage over and over. Yeah, Chaos Emperor Dragon um, wipes out all the cards on the field and your opponent's hand, right? So, they literally can't get, do anything if it's set up properly. That's why the card needed to be banned. Sounds obnoxious? Yeah, that's why... That's why, like, people just surrender if it happens, because otherwise you have to sit there and be like, All right, my turn's over. Your turn. What are you gonna do? Hmm? Oh, wait, you can't draw a card. <laughs> Death by a thousand pecks. Summoned every card in the XYZ series and won the duel. Summoned VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon and won the duel. Summon Uria, Lord of Searing Flames, and won the duel. You know, I could just splash in Haman there and use that. 
I have the card. You know what? I will. <laughs> I can replace rising air currents. Let's do that. Oh, pardon me. Rising air current needs to go. Oops, hang on. Card frame is better like that. H, 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 H. Where is my H? Now then, I see it. Just put one copy in it. It's probably gonna make me brick, but if I can get an achievement, why not? Continuous spells? Oh, crystal beasts. Crystal beasts can be used to summon him on. It even comes with the official, uh, the new Crystal Beast structure deck, by the way. They literally put that card in there just for that. Tightrope. It'd probably be easier to uh, do it in a tag duel as well anyway. Let's do this. Oh, boy. Your opponent, the opponent could possibly deck out if they don't have enough cards left. So if you keep going with the Yada Lock. That's true. That's true. Being released, tightrope one. Crystal bears. We need, like, fan art of Teddy Ursa with its moon symbol being, like, some kind of jewel. And he's just partying with the other crystal beasts. Teddy Ursa can be an honorary, honorary crystal beast. You know what? That would be a cool idea for, like, a regional variant of Teddy. A lot of games like making the ice teddy, which is cute, but what if we they made like a rock type teddy? That would be super cool. Moonstone bear. Terra rock teddy Ursa. True. Cool idea for emote. We don't have any more slots for exactly. Kind of want to try and draw that now. Oof. Moonstone crystal bear. Okay, old man, no. Turtle. Probably okay just to set this for the time being. Let's do it. Moonstone is a real gem, that's right. Oh yeah, you're right. I can do Super Teddy Sub Badge still. My B. I had a late, late morning start. Okay, don't need to worry about you. Oop, get turtled. This regional variant of Teddy would evolve by Moonstone to Ursa Ring, and no, probably Moonstone to Ursa Luna now, actually. Honestly, I feel like if any ROM hacks in the future implement Ursa Luna, they're probably just gonna make it a Moonstone evolution. Or I suppose Gen 2 would be able to fulfill the conditions of like leveling up at night. Like Umbreon does? I don't know. Alrighty. Can special summon you? I could... Hold up. Mm. Ryza can pop that. When this card is thrown bells at the graveyard. Yeah, if I beat over that, he's just gonna summon more things, right? So we'll go ahead and pop that after doing this. Goodbye, turtle. Make the effect of a card. Do that. I'll be back next time, but tag duel means even slower. Goodbye, princess. No, I don't know, want to negate my own summon. Yay. You can beat over you because of your effect. Pop. Hmm. Am I really going to risk it all in this? Of course I am. Damn it! It was Cocoon of Evolution. Of course it was. Excellent. Hmm. All right. What would the new shiny form of this new Teddy Ursa look like, chat? I have no idea. There's already a new Ursa Luna, so would I have to make a new version for the Blood Moon form as well? Blood Ruby? Sanctuary in the Sky? Nope. This is fine. Make it gold. 
make it like rock bear blue moon bear you can just start this car the graveyard add one six for this guy this card is feeling blah, 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 blah. destroy this card well, damn it i should have gotten rid of the sanctuary then clearly at 2100 mm, he's activating premature burial and he's targeting that you know what? I'm gonna do it, just because I'm tired of him, of Yan, and his sanctuary stuff. Well then. I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> Premature burial, and then BAM! Call the Haunted. I don't have a copy of Call the Haunted yet, do I? I don't have any revival cards. Well then. Good job, Jesse. Genuinely. He's putting the Howling Insect down. Mm. This will lower Earth Monsters, though. It's a bad idea. Blade Fly really isn't that great for Jesse, because I end up lowering the attack of his strongest monsters. Let's do this. Old Man said no. Shining Angel. Go on. Oh, pardon me. Hold back you on there. Next turn, boy. Next turn, you're dead. Unfortunately, he has freaking four recruiters on the field now. So that's kind of a problem. So we're just really going to have to beat over all of them, aren't we? Bring it on. Yen was the one with the light stuff, stuff, right? Yeah, so Alvaro's active. So if I attack these, he's gonna have le less targets, if no targets at all. So, never mind. Hold up. He's gonna attack me. He's gonna attack me. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn, chat. Go ahead. Attack me. You know you wanna. Go ahead and attack me. I dare you. <laughs> How do you like it? Draw one card. There you go. MST that back row. Okay, Jesse's got it. We should have crystal gummy bears. That's just rock candy with gummy bears, maybe. I can taste the sugar when you talk about gummy bears, chat. I haven't had those in a while. Pop. Well then, are we gonna finish them? Not today. Sugar overdose from bears. The Teddy Ursa and Explorers of the Sky. I've been given a ton of, ton of like gummies though. I made that bear super smart and super strong. Hmm. Well, I guess we gotta. Oh wait, I just beat over this. Got MST. I don't really need to pop that. Mm, Carbuncle really wouldn't be enough there, so I can leave him in defense mode. Pop. Get him. Could I be sponsored by a gummy bear company? Probably wouldn't take it. I've never, I don't really take sponsors, not because, you know, well, first of all, they don't really offer really good money to me, because they think you're stupid, and don't know how much advertising is worth, but, 
Um, anyways, I'm getting off track here. Like, working with sponsors, they, they will, like, they want you to, to, like, do everything so specifically, it's an absolute pain in the ass. I, I don't even want to bother with it. Anyways, Pandemonium's activated. I'm gonna activate MST and pop it. Hang on. Remember when Square Enix wanted to give me a game key? And they they gave me the stipulation that I had to stop the stream and thank them every 20 minutes? I literally told them I'm not doing that. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not gonna take it from you guys. I'll just buy the game myself. That one was so funny because they were completely out of touch with that. Every 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes. It's like, have you watched a stream before? How much more muscle did I need to win? Still not enough. Must be bedtime. You're not tired? Hang on, let me get a drink. Hey, I came to get you. Come on, let's hurry and do stuff. It's Saturday. Still standing on it. Bonaparte is there. Is there anything on the map to do? Not really. To the girls' dorm. Like, yeah, if it was the beginning and end. Wait, what did he just say? Is there a student you have a crush on here? Bro, what are you- don't call me out. We're not here to be creepy. That's why Cyrus is here, though. Save completed. Yeah, if it was at the beginning and end of the stream, it would be like such a whatever thing. But every 20 minutes, that's gonna sound so hollow and weird. Mushroom Man. Masked Army. Did I beat Kenyo? Dude, I didn't even see him. Must have been during the tournament. Let's duel him. Tag duel. Excellent. Whoopsie, trying to move things. Turn on your camera and just dead eyes into the camera. Thank them as if you're being held hostage. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Some of the emails I get from some of those companies too, like the big ones, they, they give, like, listen, let me tell you something about a lot of those companies. They think people are stupid. They think you're stupid and they will give you like the worst offer in the world. And they have no idea that I talk to other people who have gotten these offers and get a, get a lot more offered for the same thing. <laughs> like, they're just, they send them out to everybody and they hope that you're really dumb and you just don't know what you're signing up for. <laughs> like, yeah. I still remember one time years ago, one company offered me a free t-shirt for doing it. They wanted like, uh, multiple minutes at the start of a Yellow Channel video too. I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't respond to most of those. For some t-shirts. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. That's funny. Oh boy. Anyways. Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus there. I could just put Harpy Queen down. I haven't drawn my Icarus card like at all though. I haven't seen that for a while. An offer like that is just disrespectful, you're telling me. The worst part is when they try to be hip. Like, I, I post this a couple times on my on my Twitter as well, but sometimes when you get messaged by people, by like these companies, it, usually it's like a third party company that represents the, the big brands or whatever, right? They try really hard in the email to sound really hip and like a true gamer so that you'll think you're, they're cool. Like they'll say something like, whoa, hello, Picaspri. I saw your latest video on Pokemon. I sure am a cool gamer. I play on PS5. Anyways, I got a cool idea for you. I want to run by you. And that sounds like an exaggeration, but it really is that bad. 
they send them out to like a hundred people and they hope one of them bites. It's just probably some guy sitting at a computer sending out emails over and over. The funniest part is, hang on, no, this is, this is the best part, right? So, a lot of the times for their emails, they use a template, right? And every once in a while, they forget to delete parts of the template. Uh, this was like the other month. Someone sent me like an offer for something. And in the middle of the email, in brackets, the, the, they left the template that says insert compliments here. I'm not even kidding. Like I screen capped it and I put it on my Twitter too. And <laughs> they left that part in. They forgot to delete it. Yeah, they literally just have a little template where they delete stuff and, you know, insert a line that's more accurate to the person they're contacting, if that makes sense. This is in, like, every industry. It's not just, like, YouTube and Twitch and all that. <laughs> Oops. Or sometimes they forget to delete the name of the last recipient. I've gotten some emails where it'll say, like, Hello, Melissa, and I'm like, Who's Melissa? I think, did you forget to change the name? I lost. Tisk. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. I haven't drawn, I haven't drawn Lord of Strike and Thunder once. Was it two for you? Oh, I, I got a draw against him? How? Weird. Hello, Picasper Yellow. Hello, Picasper Blue. <laughs> Oh boy. The company you work for has your client communication templates bolded and in red, yet even those have some somehow slipped by a few people. Oh. <laughs> they do that to make sure they delete them sometimes, yeah. Bastion is level six. Me and my roids. <laughs> what is that in the name of his deck? You duel. Oh, Jesse's got his uh, third level heart there. Yeah, I should go buy some sandwiches after this. I've been getting some draws in this game. Yeah, well, Mindy is kind of designed to get draw. No, you know what it was? What Loggy did to me? It was Mask of Destruction. It wasn't my fault. Me and my roids. I tell you, one e type of email that I'm glad I don't see very much anymore is, um... Actually, you know what I could do? I could put this in attack mode. Bait him into attacking me, then flip up Icarus attack. Yeah, let's do that. Hang on. So this was more like back in like 2017, 2018 YouTube, but there used to be like a lot of these companies that would represent YouTubers, right? And they would they were desperate to get you to sign up with them. I would get emails from them like literally every day. I would just like it was very annoying. Hold up, what else are you gonna do? Okay. If that's the case, I'm just gonna pop it back to his hand. And those companies were basically a scam, right? Ask any YouTuber who was unfortunate enough to sign up with them. They, they make a lot of promises that they'll help you out, but they literally just do nothing but leech off of you and just, like, leech off some of your money. It's such a ripoff. Never fall for it. Nowadays, they're not around anymore because no one's dumb enough to sign up with them. They used to be huge back in, like, 2013 and all that when YouTube was really more kicking off. Do this here. No need to use Icarus Attack yet. We can just do this. Yeah, there's a reason you don't hear about, like, the, the loot crate and machinima anymore. Excellent. My favorite is when they promise to, like, double your views. It's like, really? Gonna, gonna double my views? How are you gonna do that? You're gonna go down to YouTube and push the double views button? That's not how that works. Uh, okay, bottomless. Let's hit him with that. If you've ever posted, like, if you've been on YouTube for more than a day, you know that anyone promising you that has no idea what they are doing. Not even in the slightest. Um, 
I could pop both of that back row, sacrifice you, then special summon Silthy as a result. Okay, do that. Loot Crate got abandoned as soon as someone else bought the company. Doesn't shock me. Well, Loot Crate was kind of like lame in my opinion because all the stuff that they were selling was just excess garbage they basically bought from a warehouse and they bundled it together as a fun box. Okay, now we'll set this. Bro, you ever watch an old YouTube video and you see one of those, one of those like loot crate things in there? Man, that's almost nostalgic. And then the YouTuber like opens it and they get like some very like crappy collectible that they're never gonna even put on display. And they're like, whoa, man. Look at that, it's like a, a Futurama, like, Bender Bite Me poster. I'm gonna hang this up right now and you'll never see it again. It's only got a couple of scratches on the side. I'm so pessimistic when I talk about this stuff, aren't I? Well, I basically win here. The good old days. Well, damn it, I lose here. No, I don't lose, I just don't win yet. Not to mention, yeah, a lot of the stuff that was sent to YouTubers to open on camera was very much, like, set up in a... To, to give you the good stuff. To give them, them the, good, the good stuff, right? Let's do it. Now, hopefully I can beat over you now. Are you kidding me? Cyrus, just die already, would you? Oh boy, it's Rescue Roid. And it fell down a pothole. Not rescuing anybody. Stop that! Let it be dead! <laughs> Excellent. Put you back on the field. Don't worry, I got a plan. Hit that. Now finish him already. Here we go. Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Mm. Another reason I can't really do stuff like this for that for the yellow channel. I'm sorry, but I can't like pretend to be enthusiastic about anything to save my life. I'm terrible at reading scripts, especially when they're written by other people. Man, if Game Champ just wanted me to, like, redo her entire script for that one video I, I collabed with, I'd, I'd be open to that. <laughs> because I feel like I did a terrible job recording that. I felt- I feel so bad when I listen to it later. Ooh. Hang on. Nah, we don't need to be Bastion. We can just go to the store. Time for class. Can you imagine me pretending, like, trying to tell you guys about a mobile game? Do you think I could make any of you believe for a second that I played it for more than 10 minutes? I don't think I could. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, right. It's class time. The store's closed. Silly me. Oopsie doodles. Um, how about the harbor? We haven't been here for a little bit. Oh, no one's here. Left leg of the forbidden one. Well, bro, that one dude was standing on that the whole time. My speech craft is not that good. I couldn't convince anyone to play anything. Now, is it like later in the day? Yes, it is. Well, I got a piece of Exodia. That's pretty cool. I think the dudes in the black suits are gone during the uh, class time. But the la I've been- I've skipped class and tried to get the lady outside my room away, but she's still there. Want a sandwich? Sure. Croquette sandwich? 
Yeah, sure. Here, Jesse, you get to eat. Let's do another one. Chicken sandwich. Pretty good. Eat, Jesse. Eat. Pineapple sandwich. It's working, but just barely. I really need the gold sandwich, and it doesn't seem like it's in rotation. There's nothing new here right now, still. Except Premature Burial, which is about to be added to my deck, of course. Dang! Unai with Chain? It's not what I wanted. Um, what else was I trying to pull for here? I don't even remember. I don't need more of this right here. Hmm. Would you buy a bear t-shirt for me? I'd make a legally distinct bear friend for that, but I can't sell t-shirts with Teddy Ursa on them. There's the Earth Pack, but we're done with that. Um... Could try for Torrential Tribute again. Michirize, or however the hell you say it. I don't think I ever added, added that to the deck, actually, but whatever. Come on. Disappear. Remove from play one card from your opponent's graveyard. Weird for that to be a, a trap card. That seems too slow and useless. Can I get... I can get Swords of Revealing Light from some of these, can I? Is it Intermediate Spell? I know I can get Toll from this. And Chain Energy. There's no Flip Effect Monster Pack, though. Is that, like, a certain criteria I need for that? Let's get some stuff. Degenerate Circle? Is that what that said? The Dark Door? That's the summon one. Come on. Spirit Message L. Got another Shadow Spell. Eh. Nothing really for that, did it? Alright, we'll try one more pack of Time to Gear Up. And we shall go back. Dang it! Get it eventually, you'll see. You'll all see. Now we're just gonna keep raising the dual points. Let's go to the abandoned dorm at night. We haven't done that yet. Hey everybody, what's up? Why are you looking down on me? The legends. Oh, hang on. Go, go words. I've lost to you. You got a level 7 deck. You know, let's tag duel them. Why not? They're hanging out in the spooky dorm. I thought the abandoned dorm was off limits, but I guess because we resolved the incident, it's no longer abandoned? Who knows anymore, right? Who can say? Is it go go words or go a go a word? I have no idea. Rhoda! I still don't have Swords of Revealing Light or um, MST. I Best I got was Mirror Force, which I finally got to use today. Hmm. Okay. Nobleman of Extermination, that's a classic right there. Goblin Attack Force. It'd be nice if I can get Lord of Striking Thunder out, but I haven't even drawn it once. It hasn't even been a brick yet. But with Jesse, it should easily um, be more useful, maybe. Let's pop this Goblin Attack Force while we can. Oh. Oh, it has to be an attack position. Well, that's fine. We can beat over him like this. This is even better. 
Those three face downs concern me, but we don't really have a choice except to go for it. Excellent. You know, chat, since we went on a bit of a tangent here with uh, hilarious things I read on the internet. Um, oh, it yeah, does tornado the crystal beast. Okay. Weird. And let me bottomless you. I, I've been meaning to mention, I, I forgot for a while. Holy crap, yeah, I've been going two and a half hours. It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I say that every Yu-Gi-Oh! stream, but it's true. Genuinely feel shocked when I look at the time. So anyways, I've been... One of the things I've started doing on the side, right? I've started listening to, like, true crime videos and unsolved mystery stuff. As, like, little background noise while I'm, like, grinding in games. It's pretty nice. But... I have learned that the comment sections on those videos are some of the worst I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, no no joke. You know how, like, in comment sections, everybody... There's always that type of person that wants to be smarter than everyone else, right? The one that looks at everything different than everybody else. And if you put that in Unsolved Murder Mysteries, you get the most... You literally get the worst people on planet Earth, right? Like... For example, you, you could you could watch a, a true crime unsolved mystery video. It'll be about an old lady who went to go walk her dog at the park and then like w was found dead later. And the top comment on the video will be some guy being like, are we sure the dog didn't do this? Do we know for sure that the dog didn't have a knife hidden on it when it went out that day? <laughs> And then the reply will be something like, Personally, if I was the dog's lawyer, I would be thinking about it like this, and I think he could get away with it. And then the reply to that will be like, Really? You think the dog did it? Am I really the only one who didn't consider that the neighbor's cat orchestrated the whole thing? Do we, do do we know the dog's motives? I know, right? It, like, it's not- it doesn't even feel like I'm exaggerating that much. It's just that bad. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I had to stop and focus on what I was saying for a second. Anyways, you're like that. United We Stand would let me beat over the Goblin Elite Attack Force. Mm, but this would lower the power. Yeah, we'll just not summon- we'll, we'll set Bladefly as a body. It's genuinely stuff like that that's just- you look at the comments and it just it just frustrates you that someone's looking at this oh damn it this terrible horrible incident oh don't do that and they're just genuinely like seeing it like that they need to be smart they need to solve the mystery so they need to give a theory that no one else has thought of which means they have to say the stupidest crap you've ever heard in your life <laughs> r slash we know the dog did it and then they create a subreddit about the theory on the do of the dog's motives. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least I can probably attack the other goblin attack force. Let's do that. God. I tend to be a bit selective when I listen to true crime videos because I hate the channels that, like, sensationalize it. Like, the dude that sounds... Listen, if I'm listening to a dude that's excitedly talking about, like, murder, I don't trust that dude. <laughs> I prefer the videos that kind of, like, read it a bit more seriously and focus on, like, the victims. Instead of being, like, focusing on, like, you know, the name of the killer. Or some crap like that. No, I don't want to bounce it back to his hand. He's just gonna... He's just gonna, like, summon it again. For now, we'll do this. Have you considered the dog was conspiring with the podcaster? Can you disprove that? I don't know. Oh, good. We got swords. We're all right. No, we... Oh, we're going to eat crap from Goblin next time. Excellent. I like, like when they focus on the victims, too. Yeah, I do as well. Oh, I can Destiny draw. Why not? Let's cheat. Um... I need to get rid of you, don't I? To 
the owner's hand. You don't have much discard for that. Cat could beat over that, and then you could beat over the defense mode one. Yeah, I could try that. Some of that stuff's make like can make you real depressed though. Like, ugh. The downside of watching some of that stuff is it will make you like just lose a bit more faith in humanity for sure. When you realize just how like evil and messed up some people can be. No, 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 let's not do that. Ah, oh, here we go. I could get rid of this, and I guess this for now. Whatever. He gave up all his resources too, so we're okay. End turn. Wow, we couldn't do a thing. Nice. Perfect. So he's just gonna attack directly, not just bounce it back to the hand. Well, we wouldn't be able to hit for game anyway, so yeah. Icarus attack. Ooh, this is perfect. Hmm. We wouldn't be able to hit for game, yeah. Maybe wait for him to attack, or wait for him to summon something. Then I can use Icarus attack off a of Cobalt Eagle and pop this and whatever else he plays. So we'll wait a second. We'll attack directly with the cat. Okay. Say no to that. Hydrate, yep. I think the downs- another downside of listening to that stuff is it makes you paranoid. Like, you ever, like, watch it, stuff about serial killers, and then, like, you suddenly are paranoid that you're going to be the targeted by a serial killer? I'm going to be murdered tonight because I watched this video. Good golly. <laughs> Tribute to the doomed? Well then, I suppose that works. Saves us having to target our own cards. Work at Walmart, you don't need to watch it to be paranoid. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I've worked retail. I should know better. Well, this seems okay. Change to attack position. Let's flip you up to attack position. We'll put this down. Oh, wait, sorry, I missed the stretch there in the middle of that. Yeah, I'll do a quick little stretch. What also doesn't help is um, one of the videos I was watching the other night actually r reminded me of a, of a, something that happened in my city like over a decade ago, right? I think I mentioned this when I was playing like the, the Pokemon black and white randomizer one of those years ago. There was an incident in my city. It was like back when I was like starting high school, right? There was this guy going around the city and he would just look for random doors at night and he would see who like left left everything unlocked and he would just go inside people's houses and watch them sleep. And they never caught- I don't think they caught him. He was doing this for a while, the media was like freaking out about it, and then I guess he got scared and stopped. Yeah. That was a real thing that was happening where I lived. <laughs> That's messed up, yes it is. Can you imagine living and going to sleep at night when that's on the news? Jeez. Um, no, he's got nothing on the field. We win. Jesse can do this. I think they called him the Sleep Watcher because there was a similar incident that happened in, uh, in, down in the States a few months prior. So they called him, like, our, it, it, they named him our Sleep Watcher. God, ugh. I hate when they give people names like Batman villains, for God's sakes. Like, no, call him the creepy loser that watches people sleep at night. That's what he is. <laughs> I lost. That hurts my record. Shoot, I'm getting hungry again. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. Well, we got some stuff for that. Is anyone else chilling around here? No. Super creepy. Mm. 
No, the dude... Apparently, the dude just never stole anything. He, it was only to pop in people's houses and watch them sleep. And the only reason people, like... There was a sketch going around about him. Hold up. That's Gillian. You know, let's tag duel these two. The only reason they had a sketch for him was because there were a few instances where people woke up, saw him, and then he just bolted from the house. And let me tell you, if I was one of, one of those people, I would not be... I, It'd be a long time before I could fall asleep again. Let me let me tell you. I I can't imagine how freaking terrifying that would be. You wake up and there's just some dude staring at you. God, that's nightmare fuel right there. Probably would never forget to lock your door again. Yeah. Oops. I'm pretty sure in every case, yeah, he never like broke down a door or anything. He just, like, was checking for random doors that were unlocked at night. Hmm. I don't know how you sleep while leaving your front door unlocked. I couldn't do that. Ooh. Yeah, I've heard of cases like that, too, where someone's living in someone's house unknown. Ooh. I guess I can go in and attack. Why not? Well, that sucks, but at least I popped your back row for doing it. Attack. Always lock every door. God, yes. Okay, end turn. Ah, uh, yeah, I can just pop this. Flip it. Oh, it's Nightmare Penguin. Wait, that still procs its effect? Well, that's annoying. Excellent. I don't really have any incidents where I live, but, like, I would always lock my door anyway, regardless. I'm not gonna bother with Ryza yet. But I am gonna do this. Start with Pegasus. We're gonna take Eagle out of the deck and just throw him there, because what thins the deck a little bit. Hmm. Hit this. DD Warrior. Oh boy, here we go. And now it's banished. Well, I don't really have much else I can do, so end turn. These two don't really synergize, because Gillian's the tutorial guy. And Seela's supposed to be one of the hard duelists, so I think Gillian's just holding her back. Excellent. Ooh, here we go. Jesse going in. I don't think Gillian's living this unless they got a Mirror Force packing. Nope. Nope. You win. 608. Duelist bonus was... Okay, 450. Not bad because of Herd probably being in there. Oh no, I lost. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep it up. I feel like I should make a save, because it's been a bit. We're building hearts with Jesse pretty quickly, aren't we? What's my duelist level? 22. Damn it, people said that a lot of packs open at 45. I feel like I'm really limited with packs. Is there really no other way to get more? Oh, wait, Sunday's a tournament day. This might actually be worth doing. Hey, came to get you. There's a dual tournament today. You're going, right? Go to the tournament? Yeah. Wow, everyone's already left. Come on, let's hurry and go. Select the tournament you'd like to join. Oh, okay. So I unlock the next unlock the next one. I see, I see. Let's try this then. Is it necessary to do all these? Level 45 is like an alternative alternative unlock. It unlocks nearly everything. Oh, okay. 
So what's the other criteria? Is it part? It seems to be partnering with everyone else, but I'm not quite sure about that. Whatever. Welcome to the special site for the tag duel. Therefore, you must get acquainted with tag duels, tournaments every Sunday. Other types of duels will be forbidden. Rule breakers will be tossed in the ocean. Okay, I just need to beat the five students, or five groups here, I say. Start tag dueling. Excellent. I haven't dueled this person, but we're gonna do it now. Let's go. Winning tournaments actually can unlock um, more more stuff. Now, apparently completing the mini games can unlock stuff, but I have no interest in that. Like, dude, wasn't one of them basically just Go with house rules? I don't even know how to play Go. I'm going to struggle with that. Are they all Japanese board games, or is there anything more simple I can understand? Ooh, nice. He's going at it right away. Okay, you get a Crystal Beast. Play the swords. Oh, wait, what am I saying? It was his turn. Of course he couldn't do that. Um, I can easily hammer shot that guy. Worried about that back row, though. I think for now I should just poke him with Kamakiri, and Kamakiri can search if it dies. There's a Worms clone and a Snake clone as mini games. Okay. Then I just picked the one dude that was, like, not fun at all. The mini games are pretty terrible. Oh, not this effect. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna set this in case Jesse can use it. He probably has more discard discardable cards on him. Too bad I can only pull one copy of Kamakiri, yeah. Oh, right! This thing's unaffected by trap cards, so... Even more reason to pop it. Okay, we got a defender. Got an attacker. Good job. If Jesse would discard his swords for, um... To activate, uh, Lightning Vortex, I'd be pissed. That does sound like a Tag Force AI move, though. Anyways. Meaning to mention... Oh, not Exiled Force. Oh, that's gonna suck. Damn it. We talked about playing some of the DS games as well. Usually I have like two Pokemon playthroughs or so going. I wonder if sometime in the future, just to mix it up so we're not stuck in GX for several years, should play some more Duel Monsters or 5Ds era games on the side as well. Or a one-off party game like um, Destiny Board Traveler, but Destiny Board Traveler is terrible, so. Um, you know, for now I could put Kamakiri in defense mode, and if its effect goes off, it could be fine. Hmm. We'll do this for now. Don't think I need the set you know to be stand, because it'll get popped back to the hands. Activate the effect. Okay. Now, I could get the Eagle or Behemoth. Behemoth will come back, but it's just going to get sent back to the hands. Better to do this if it gets destroyed so I can put it in the back row. Jesse can beat over it anyway. Okay, we got another defender on board. Okay, he got Carbuncle back there. Destroyed another copy of his little friend. Damn. You know what I realized? For when it comes to back row removal, I think Jesse has one copy of MST and that's it. Is there no Crystal Beast spell that specifically lets you, like, pop something in the back row? Can't activate its effect. Hmm. Okay. Now I could tribute Turtle for Ryza and then throw this back to the top of his deck. The problem is, now there's three face-downs. What if he has a second copy set? It's too risky. I'd, I'd lose too much resources off that now. Lightning Vortex. Do I need to do that yet? Hmm. 
Honestly, I could. I don't need Blade Fly at all. Yes, he's got a good enough hand. It's the face downs I'm more worried about, so I'm just gonna do this to pop him. And now we're just gonna poke him for damage, and we should be okay like this. Jesse has swords for an emergency. Try not to go all in and lose everything to this. Damn it. I thought so. And now I take the damage, huh? That's pretty damn annoying. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't go Ryza United We Stand or it would have been over. Jesse doesn't really have Heavy Storm like other duelists. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't put those back in the deck. Dude, I hate that card. It's pissing me off. Well, we're gonna pop it again. At least he's helping set up the back row in case I can get Haman on the field. I guess Crystal Abundance sweeps the back row, but... Dude, he attacked with the turtle? No, and he didn't put swords down? No! Oh, okay. Dude. It's like the AI is not registering that this is on the field. He put the turtle in attack mode for crying out loud. I could special summon you... The problem is I'm worried about other back row cards ruining stuff, right? <sighs> what if I play defensively this turn? Hmm. Popping this isn't going to do anything because the other cards will stall me the one turn because for him to draw and set it again it sucks. Mage power's there, but... I could put it in attack mode as a deterrent. Or not. Hold up. Battle damage makes things go back to the hand, but I, so I should be able to destroy this just fine. I hope. Well then. I'm gonna put this in attack mode. That way that Emperor can't beat over it. I should be okay like this, I hope. I'm not gonna attack him, because then I'll be wide open. He's going UFO Turtle. Garuda the Winds. Um, no, don't need to do that. Jesse, your hand is so stacked, but you're just... Mm. Well then. Play Swords. Jesse, please play Swords. Play the Swords. I'm begging you. Just put the Swords on the field. Oh, he won't put the swords down. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Well, it's going back to your hand now. Oh, never mind. He's immune to that. Silly me. Jesse, what? Just put the swords down, man. I don't have a choice now, do I? I'm going to have to put an Inken Dog down, and I'm going to have to beat over it to get rid of it with my own mage power here. Unless he activates anything else. Please don't flip anything up. Okay, he didn't. <sighs> Wasn't safe to use. I can't even play both equip spells in that situation. All I can do is end turn now. I really hate this card. Every duel it gets flipped up, it ruins everything, doesn't it? Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. And Spirit Reaper happens. There goes that. Can Jesse use Abundance? Come on. Normal summon the Pegasus. That would let you. No! Wait, never mind. Never mind. He's wide open. We can win. The monster's gone. I killed it. Sorry. Force of habit. <laughs> Force of habit this whole duel of assuming he's gonna do the wrong thing. I thought he was gonna go for crystal abundance. Oh. <laughs> uh, just poke and kill him, please. 
Oh, that was that was an endeavor right there. What a what a what a hill we climbed together. I still haven't drawn Lord of Strike and Thunder once. All right, I had a drink there. Stop. Crystal Bears are the winner. Caddy's win again. He could have, but yeah, abundance would have been better because it would have removed the back row, but he still won, so I can't complain too much. I mean, I can because he let that sword sit in his hand the entire duel when it could have protected us like 80 different times. Let's do it. <laughs> All he had to do was put the swords down and stall for a few turns, and I could have drawn, probably gotten my out to get rid of that dang, like, trap card. Let's hit first. Jesse, the king of heart attacks. Flying fairies. Let's see if I can win all five duels here. Dylan should be on his way in a little bit. I think he's just about to get off of work. Let's go. Well then, you put Carbuncle in attack mode. Good job. That'll show him. Yeah, Jesse, how do you do it? Got Mirror Force. Hmm. Do I go to pop one of the back rows with Ryza? I could do that. However, it's only at 1,000. I could get two 1,800 beat sticks instead. I'm protected with Mirror Force and Old Man No if things go wrong. It'd be better to have more bodies, because if, if that one of the cards destroys me, or destroys Ryza, then I'm in a situation where I'm wide open. So I'm going to go two 1,800 beat sticks instead. Well, damn. I was probably going to pick the middle bottom card with Ryza anyway, so that <laughs> would have gotten Mirror Forced with Ryza. We ate crap for that. Okay, it's fine. We're going to end turn. He's going to play some monsters, and I'm going to Mirror Force him back. Don't do that. If he plays this, he's going to be able to summon the, the fairies in that. Do I want to give half my life points for it? Yes, I do. That thing's gonna enable a bunch. This is probably gonna bite me in the ass, but I'm gonna go for it. Yes, hold up. Make sure it's not immune. Do not control Sanctuary in the Sky. You cannot conduct your battle phase to turn you activate this effect. Let's get rid of it. Okay, Jesse, you got him. You got this. It's all you. All you, my boy. That's right. Don't flip anything up, Marcel. You got nothing. You're trash. You're disgusting garbage. Oh, that's a big back row. I don't like that. Oh. Do I play Ryza and pop one back? But there's four of them, right? Oh, man. Oh, man, chat. What do I do? What do you think? Should I go for Pegasus? Or should I go for Ryza and pop one of them? <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble right now. Both are a huge gamble. I have no idea what these could be. We know one of the two partners has used his Mirror Force. Oh, I got his Tribute Monsters on me now. Ooh, I'm gonna go for it. YOLO. I'm gonna say this one. Go. Call the haunted. He could easily get another Sanctuary in the sky, right? What does this do with the Sanctuary? Higher than your opponents, you contribute this card to effect- Oh, yeah, he could finish me with that. If he gets the right thing. 
I'm gonna pop us both. We're both going to hell. Oh my god, stop it. Wait, wait, wait. What does this do? Activate this card when a monster on your side of the field is destroyed in a result of battle into the graveyard. You and your opponent select one monster from your graveyards and special summon them in defense position. Neither monster special summoned by this card effect can change the battle position when it's face upon the field, except with the card effect. Um. Tribute summoned only, huh? I guess I may as well bring back Pegasus in the off chance it can go to the back row. Well, this is a pain in the ass. Crystal Beast can thin the deck a little bit. Yeah, let me see here. Forgot that works on Special Summon as well. Jesse, if you have Crystal Abundance, I'll be your best friend forever. And now I can Shield Crash you. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. Pop you. Okay. Live this turn, damn you, live. He's got nothing. Okay, he doesn't have the right piece. But we can do this. Nova Summoner. Oh, get out of here with that. We're in trouble. Damn, you in that back row. Creature swap, huh? Let's see. When this card is sent to the graveyard, except if destroyed by battle, gain a thousand life points if Sanctuary of the Sky is on the field. Okay, that doesn't matter. I can Axe of Despair. No, it's probably better actually to sacrifice the Pegasus because its battle position cannot be changed, right? I got no room to put down Axe of Despair. We need this slot in case he gets Crystal Abundance or I need to play a spell card, right? Hold up. Yeah, 400. He gets an even 2,000, so he can't beat over it. Damn it! Ah. Well, at least I made him use that up. And he's running low on resources. We'll, we'll just have to stop for now. Come on. He's got a whole hand. No! No. Could probably creature swap this out of him, though. Okay, just... No, put the turtle down, you moron! What are you doing? What are you doing? You couldn't put the turtle down and we'd be safe! Why did he do that? Oh, oh my god, Jesse, why did you do that? Oh, please give me lightning vortex. You saw that, right? had the turtle he could have just said it and we would have been so safe and he just puts the eagle in attack mode and tries to hit him oh my god i can't believe he just did that well this might have to work because i don't have a monster oh i'm so mad i'm so mad we lost dude we lost Seriously. Seriously, Jesse. You could All he had to do was set the turtle and we'd be alive right now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm so upset about that. You lose. Goodbye. Well, we lose. Hehe. <laughs> well, no biggie. We'll do better next time. Damn. Why is there a cat in my room? Well, we'll get him next week. Gosh. I was tense that entire duel, thinking about what to do, and Jesse just threw at the end. I cannot believe he did that. Meow. Pet his head. You pet him on the head. Meow. He seems to like you. Oh! There we go. We got more hearts for Jesse. Ma'am, are you going to get off that card or not? K 
Can you believe this crap? Can you believe that? Oh, I'm so mad about that. Being released, always vanilla. No comment. Well, let's have a look around. You can only get, if I recall correctly, you can get that card she's standing on on Sunday. So I just have to not go to the tournament. Is that what I do? There's peeps here. Have I dueled you? That's hide. That's you. Unknown chaos. Dual lesson. I haven't beat this teacher, so let's try that. Tag duel. Maybe I should save next Saturday night so we can try it. I want to get some more staples, though, so I can be more consistent with that if I could. I'm just... What was his play there? Like, why did he play the eagle when the opponent had a monster that could easily beat over it? Like, oh, it had a thousand attack points. I'll just bop that. Like, you idiot. You could just... Put the turtle down and we'd be fine. Just put the turtle down. That's all he had to do. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, I actually drew it. I should go for the summon of this. Um, Chat. Now this is gonna be really... Why did he put this here? Every single AI has put it in the middle first. Why... Why'd you do that, Walter? Is it becoming sentient? Should we be afraid? Hmm. Why did he do that? <laughs> I'm confused. What card is it? Man's thinking about Link monsters before Link monsters. He really does not want me to want that thing to die. Let me read it, please. Let me read the damn card already. Alien Infiltrator. Once per turn, this card can move to... Okay, it is a movable card. If no spell or trap card monster in your opponent's side of the field in the same column as this card, it can attack your opponent directly. Okay. Okay. So, like, one of the three cards in the entire decade that matters for columns. Hmm, I could summon Ryza... It's only one face down there, so we can go for it. Let's do it. Oh, Jama King also affects things to the monster card zones. That's true. Doesn't Ojama Knight also do that? I don't remember. Equip spells don't count as continuous spells. Face up continuous spells near side of the field, the graveyard. Yeah, and can Crystal Beasts become continuous spells when they're in the back row? As a continuous spell card, specifically list them as that. So I can give a back row crystal beast to summon it. Needs three. Um. You know what? Let's put this down. Rise is about to rise to the challenge. Hit Walter. It's a lot. Does not feel like it's been three hours of rambling over card games again. <laughs> it doesn't. Wave motion cannon. Okay, no problem with that. I'm curious. Let me just check the stats here. Dang, we have a lot of people for Yu-Gi-Oh. I usually only see these types of numbers when I'm playing Pokemon. He's got two of them. Okay. Just desserts. That sucks. There's a few more Duel Monster era games I still want to play. Maybe Duelist of the Roses one day. Um, I know that one of the first DS ones was like Nightmare Trobador. It's another like one of the many Battle City ones, but it actually plays by real card game rules, unlike Reshef of Destruction. Could be fun. Could be fun. Here we go. Oh boy, is that you, Dylan? Are you here? Yeah. Oh, hey, how you doing? Cue the audience wailing and the clapping. 
guest stars here. Yay! My mom's food is done. It's wrong, so. yeah. Sorry, I can't hear you because headphones. Her food, Which... is, food is done. Oh, food is done? Alright, we're gonna take a break and eat in a bit here, chat. And then we're gonna set up for Resident Evil. Um, I just need to deal with this first. What, what's she making? Oh, dang, she didn't say she was making that up for us. Nice. Okay, I gotta finish this card game. It looks like I passed the three-hour mark, so yeah, this is good enough for a stream here. Excellent. You missed Jesse losing me the damn game. We were about to... He summoned a weak-ass monster when he had a freaking turtle he could have set and saved us. He doesn't understand, but I'm venting my frustration, chat, because it was terrible, and he should feel terrible for that. Hang on. I got my audio turned down right now. Let's see what this thing is. I think I can beat over it. Nimble the manga. That's fine. And is he going to bring out the other one? No, he's out of them now because his partner had it. I should be able to finish this. There we go. Tell Dolan about Priorata Sangan. Oh, yeah. You know what Sangan does, right? I don't remember, but I know it got banned. Yeah, because, like, when it, it gets destroyed on the field, you can add, like, a monster to your hand, so it's just searches Exodia parts, right? Oh, that's why. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. And apparently, in the, before, like, it got released in North America, the Japanese version of it was even more broken, before chat was telling me. Um, if it went to the graveyard in literally any way, you get the search. So people would just play Graceful Charity, discard Sangan, and just get multiple copies of Exodia. <laughs> You're gonna have to in the deck. He's gonna hit me with the motion cannons and ruin me soon, but... You know what? I'm just gonna send this back to his hand. Let's wrap this up. I think I made good progress today, chat. We had some good duels, and Jesse participated in some bad duels, and I will blame him for everything, because that's what it does. Oh no, Topaz Tiger only gets attack boost when it's attacking a monster. Okay, Jesse went for the overkill damage. I didn't get a chance to summon it, but... Oh! Why the big boost here? Did I get a level up bonus? I did. Partner bonus. Total da Damn! We bit how I score with that. I lost. Yeah, we did it. Okay, chat. I got food ready. Dylan and I are going to take a break, and we're going to set up for Resident Evil after this. Again, if you want to stick around for that, it's fine. But I understand that that game is very weird with the shaky camera. You want to try and finish it today, or do you yeah, think we, we have enough time? It. I won't be able to go home to set up there. Oh, okay. All right, so that's we fine. We got plenty of time, then. We can do something else after. Save game. Double save game. I did not get my premature burial today. Did I get any good pulls? I don't know if I really did, no. There we go. All righty. Move this over here. This has been a little session of Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did a, one a few days ago, and it was a lot of fun. But anyways, now I didn't expect Dylan to get here so soon, but if you're watching on YouTube, this is where it shall stop. Have a good night, and look forward to more. Bye-bye.